We will, we will rock you. Shh. Do, do, shh. We will, we will rock you. Shh. Do, do, shh. Enough of that. We're live on the United Stand. Why am I singing about rocking you, Brighton Rock? That's it. That's how simple it can be. Hello, everybody, and welcome to one of the most exciting games of the season, might I add. Forget this Thursday night crap that's making people feel a little bit sluggish. I'm actually excited about this game tonight. Brighton are at us. They're going to come at us like a lion goes after a lamb chop. They're going to be all over us and we're going to have to respond. They are up for it. They rested players at the weekend for this. Matoma, Casido, McAllister. They are up for it and uh, we better be up for it as well. Anthony Martial is starting mod. Oh, thank you very much for your comment there. I'm buzzing for this tonight. So if you don't want to get up for it, I certainly will. Um... That's what she said. Um, anyway, look, let's have a look at what Manchester United's lineup is. We're also sponsored by Boohoo Man. I'm wearing my Boohoo Man clothing as ever. You can get 40% off with the code uh, that we'll talk to you about in a minute, but the link's in the video description for all of that. But let's uh, let's have a look, little looky-likey at the United team. Um, so De Gea starts in goal. We've got Lindelof and Shaw at centre-back. You've got wan at right-back and Delo playing at left-back. Um, Marcus Rashford plays on the wing. Anthony plays on the other wing and Martial plays up front. And then it's a midfield three of Fred Casemiro and Bruno Fernandes. So Eriksen finds himself on the bench with Sabitza and Sancho. Uh, they drop into the bench as well as Malasia. So the bench is Butland, Maguire, Malasia, Williams, Eriksen, Palestri, Sabitza, Sancho and Veghorst. And you know what? I saw a few people in the chat were sort of like going, oh, I think Maguire will start today. I think it would have been stunning. Uh, Jamie Wayne says it's, uh, yes, Lindelof stars, plays again. I, I would have been absolutely stunned. Oh, Paul Ince is on the Sky. Look, look, you know, he's back now, back involved. He's, uh, he's on Sky Sports. Well done, Incy, formerly of the United stand. Got a bigger, bigger job now, you know. But um, anyway, um, Manchester United... Um, are playing Brighton. I think it's going to be a really interesting game. There's that league table for you. Um, we just need nine points from 18. We just need three wins. So, uh, love it. Jamie Smith says bronze bull. Um, oh, thanks everyone for watching Driving with Goldbridge. I haven't done Driving with Goldbridge in a long time. I mean, if anyone knows the last time we did a Driving for Goldbridge, well done. It's back today. Loads of people have watched it. You've really made me feel humble, um, which is hard. But... Um, Loads of people have watched it. Really, really grateful. Thank you. I mean, look, we're doing the United Stand, so it's completely separate. But um, if you want to check Driving with Goldbridge, it's on... Just type in Driving with Goldbridge on YouTube. Uh, but thank you, everyone, for supporting it. It's made me want to do it again. Uh, speaking about AI, don't swallow chewing gum, you know, urban myths, the lot. And uh, mum's gone to Iceland. If you know, you know. Uh, greetings from Austria, full sail only, says P4. We'll talk about that in a few minutes, this full sail only, because it's gone very quiet uh, on the sale of Manchester United, hasn't it? Uh, just Jason says, I'm not confident tonight. I will take a draw, though. Um, look, I, I, I like these sort of games. I like it when somebody's going to come and have a right big go at you. And I think that's exactly what Brighton are going to do. And I feel like going, come on then, come on then. You want some? Come on then. What you want? You want some? Come on then. What you got? Come on then. Come on then, scrappy do. Let's have a go. Let's have a go. And I, I like that because ultimately if we get beat, we know we've still got a lot to learn. And if we win, we're improving. And our away record is so bad that, you know, I mean, look at that midfield three of Brighton. It's Gilmore, Casido and McAllister. Matoma on the left and Cesar on the right. Uh, Welbeck's playing. They're a good side. They're a really good side and they're going to give us a tough game. Fred's going to add some energy against a really energetic Brighton midfield. It's interesting. Shordeloff again is all I wanted to see since Mario Franco. Yeah, Fred in the midfield makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, Fred in and Casimir, uh, Fred in and Eriksen out makes a lot of sense because we got absolutely, uh, like you say, they, they ran all over us at Wembley. So I think it makes a lot of sense, definitely. Um, Rashford is going to cook Casido, just so tell her. Um... I don't think I don't I don't see Casido playing at right back. I've just seen that there. But uh, anyway, before we before we get into that, let me just uh, give you a reminder that we are sponsored by Boohoo Man. So that means there's going to be a quiz for you early on in the show. Um, if you don't know what Boohoo Man is, I'm wearing one of their hoodies now. Uh, I love this for the evening games. It's nice. It's got a bit of a canvasy lining. It's a hoodie. Nice, relaxed, chill wear for Goldbridge. They also do gym wear, five-a-side wear, going out wear. Boohoo Man's got the lot, and they are extra generous because they're giving you, United Stand viewers, an 
exclusive, massive 40% discount when you use the code Goldbridge at checkout. You can scan the QR code or go through the link in the description. Um, so look, uh, liven things up, get yourself some Boohoo Man stuff with a great discount of 40%. But as always, Boohoo Man always comes up with a bit of trivia for you. So today is no different. Let's dive in. Who am I? Don't say Mark Goldbridge. This is the quiz. I was born on April the 28th, 1988. I signed for United in January 2014 for a then club record of 37.1 million. During my time at United, I played 196 games and I scored 34 goals. For Manchester United, I won the FA Cup, the League Cup and the Europa League. But for Spain, I won the lot. I won the World Cup and the Euros. Who am I? Obviously, somebody Spanish. Don't put Nanny, don't put Rashford. They've got to be Spanish. They've got to have a Spanish passport. That's what they've got to have. Um, let's see if I can shout out the first one. Let's have a look. <sighs> like Live chat typically has, has frozen a bit here. But um, the first name I can see, it's not Nanny, Jimmy. Um, I still can't see. It's not Ronnie Pickering. It's not Chikorito. Oh, loads of people are getting it now. And I'm going to go with... Uh, I'm going to give it to a member. I was going to give it to J. S. Smav, but you're not a member, so I'm going to give it to G.I., who is a member, and said Matter, as did Hazam, as did Sid Sadiq. Uh, Caleb's a member, but he said Maya. You've typed Y instead of hitting T. Fastest finger first. I bet you're no good in the bedroom. Anyway, not off of that. It is a Thursday night show. Uh, we'll keep that back for Friday. Let's go. It is one matter. Boohoo Man, 40% off with the code GOLDBRIDGE. Links in the description or scan the QR code. Thank you very much to that. If you people want to have a look at the actual uh, team lineup, we can also do that for you. Of course we can. So this is how Man United are lining up. No, no, no. That's how Brighton are lining up. This is how Man United are lining up. Give me your thoughts on the team. What are your thoughts? At the end of the day, it, I'm happy. I'm happy with it, Pat. I don't mind it. Uh, Eric Ten Hag and Paul Ince there. He's got a, Ten Hag's got him a bottle of wine. What's all that about? I saw that about. Nice to see a little bit of uh, managerial camaraderie. But uh, Ten Hag probably saying, I used to watch you on the United Stand. Loved it. It's one of my favourite shows. Um, I saw you'd lost your job, but I loved your punditry on the United Stand. And, uh, you know, get back on there when you can. But, uh, yeah, Goldbridge is a legend. I think that's what he said from lip reading. But... Uh, yeah, fantastic. Um, anyway, we'll get some Eric Ten Hag quotes for you in a moment. Uh, I'm happy with that team. As somebody said, the, the 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 cold, harsh facts are that we need to be energetic in the midfield. I think we can all predict how this game is going to go uh, without a shadow of a doubt. We know at home what they did at the weekend to Wolves was an annihilation. Um, RSPCA should have been called for that. It was cruelty to Wolves. Um, can they do it to United? Of course they can. We're going to have to play really, really well. I think he's picked... I'd say that arguably that's United's best team away from home. Um, I don't think Ericsson works away from home when you're playing a team like this that's going to have a go at you. Um, so I think that's arguably our best team we can pick at the moment. Obviously, if you had Varane and Martinez fit, it would be very different. But I think that's the strongest team we can physically pick at the moment. So really, no excuses to come out of this game with a result. And I think we will. I think we will. But I'm not naive enough or disrespectful enough to Brighton to acknowledge that they could absolutely batter us. Uh, was it Terminator? They will take over the world, says James Parkinson. Thanks for the super chats, by the way. Bottom right-hand corner to do that. Uh, do you think it was the right decision to drop Sancho? Says Ibs, Eric Ten Hag, Mark Bromance Bridge, says Alex. Um, I think that Sancho in a game like, look, ultimately, big, big game tonight. Come on, United, says Jose. Thanks for your super chat. Um, nice to see so many members in the chat as well. Big up the members like Joshua. Um, but look, he's given him the bottle of wine. He did, oh, I've got it now. I've got it now. Of course, we played Reading and Ince had a moan that he didn't get his bottle of wine. So Ten Hag's come out and gave him his bottle of wine. Have that. Well done. Good, good point. Uh, reports are saying that Gilmore is at right back for Brighton, says Darren. Well, we'll see when the game kicks off. But I think that what 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 will be interesting about this match is that we played really well against Aston Villa. You know, I thought we played well against Villa, a good team, and we played well. And I think people have been writing us off a little bit too much. Don't write, don't be writing us off against Brighton. Brighton, Brighton didn't really work as as well as I thought in my head. But no, I, I think we've got a we've got a uh, we've got a good chance. 
but it's how we approach it. And uh, there's no advantage in losing this game. And I know that sounds obvious, but there's no advantage in going out there and going, oh, Brighton are better than us, let's get smacked up. Like, there, there isn't one. We, we, we do need a good result. Um, and I think we're capable of doing it. I think, there's, I think all eyes on Martial tonight. But going back to whether Sancho should be dropped or not, it, to me, it's obvious. And this is the problem that Jaden's got. I like Jaden Sancho. I think he's a good player. But where does he fit into the starting lineup? I, I, I don't know where he's going to fit in. I think he's a rotational option. I think he's a bench option. I don't think he's a starter. You know, this is a hard game away from home. You've got to pick. You've got to pick a team to get a result. There's no way you're picking Sancho because you're going to put Rashford off the left because he's the best left-sided player. You're going to put Anthony off the right because he's the best right-sided player. And you're going to put Martial up front because he's the best number nine we've got at the moment. Now, we know we're going to buy a number nine, but Rashford's still going to remain the best left-winger and Anthony's still going to remain the priority on the right. Ganacho's coming back soon. I wonder about... I worry about what Sancho's future is, but I, I, I wouldn't have played him in this game. I think he's a, he's, he's a game-changer. I don't think he's a game-starter against these sort of teams away from home. Uh... WJ says there is something in guitar going direct to talk. Uh, the club is valued at six and a half billion with Jim's valuation and we'll get six and a half billion from Qatar soon. Full sale coming. I don't know where that's coming from, WJ, but it sounds interesting. And Pele says, I can see a 1-1 draw and of topic, but I guess you saw Haaland breaking the record yesterday. I did. I did. And, uh, you know, as much as I don't like Man City for obvious reasons, um, let's put the Brighton team on the bench, uh, on, the, on the screen. I um, can acknowledge, look, a lot of people said uh, today that, uh, I saw a few people saying today that, uh, you know, Harry Kane would score a lot of goals in a Man City side as well. He would. He would. And so would Lewandowski. And to be honest, so would I. But on a serious note, Erling Haaland has scored a lot of goals for Man City. He's broken the record in his first year. So regardless of what Harry Kane would do or Lewandowski would do, Haaland has done it. And it's not like everybody else doesn't know that he's the main goal scorer. It does, it's not like everybody doesn't know he's their threat. Interestingly, the only teams I think have done well against Haaland this year are Spurs and Man United, who basically shut Haaland down. And if you shut Haaland down, you can shut Man City down. But obviously not many people can do it. Uh, Sean Turner, thanks for your super chat. He says, I like the couple of changes. Don't forget, we've got West Ham Sunday and I guarantee Sancho and Eriksen will start. I'm putting it down to good man management. The team is better suited for Brighton, says Sean. Yeah, I, I, I personally, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, ex I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw Maguire play against um, West Ham because... I just think Maguire against West Ham might not be a bad idea with Skamaka or Antonio likely to start. So I think he might start Maguire against West Ham. But, you know, if you're Harry Maguire, if you're Jadon Sancho, the reality is this is a tougher game. It's a harder game. And you're not starting because this is our best 11. I mean, that's Brighton's best team. But, you know, I think the team that Ten Hag has picked is our best 11. Um, and not for one minute did I think that we would see Sancho or Maguire start tonight. Um, I just didn't think it, it, it suited that sort of a game. The Eriksen one as well. Look, put, the, put him into the same thing. I agree with not picking Eriksen. Fantastic player. Uh, I agree with it. Hi, Mark. Playing Fred instead of Eriksen when you're playing Martial. And we know Martial players creating runs and space for midfield. Is my head. But the problem is we're not going to... I'll tell you for free that this side here, Brighton, is going to dominate possession. So I get what you mean about not playing Ericsson for creativity for Martial, but I don't think we're going to play the sort of game. We're not good enough to have 70% possession against Brighton and keep them in their own half. We're going to counter today, 100%. We're going to be countering. Um, and that's not a reflection on Manchester United. That's a reflection on how good Brighton are and the fact that they're the home team. We will have to counter. So I think it's more important to have some energy in the midfield. Hi, Mark. Hope you're well. Are United stand going to come to Vegas? Uh, says Shake. I think we are, yeah. And uh, Carlos says, the same people complaining about Sancho getting dropped to the same people saying we need more depth like Man City. Mares doesn't start every game, but that's what makes them so strong, says Carlos. Uh, Abdelou, thank you very much for your super chat. And I'm worrying about Fred tonight. Not the type of game we can afford to lose the ball as freely, says Keith Stokes. Yeah, but as I say, we're not going to be a possession side. We're going to be a counter side. You know, is Rashford good in possession? Not really. Um, is Anthony good in possession? He's all right. Um, I think this is, you know, this is going to be a counter-attacking performance from Man United. But if it's anything better than that, great. Didier, welcome to the Members Club. I put £20 on Matoma, Rashford and Bruno all to have a shot on target and Casemiro to be booked at 18-1. to 1. It's amazing what bets you can construct these days, David. 
it really is. Um, but thanks for your super chat. You're very welcome. Um, Mark, Mexico show, please, says Jake. Well, shout out to everybody wherever you're watching. Um, one thing I did just want to talk about before we get into Eric Ten Hag's uh, comments, and I'm just going to start the stats carousel for you now. I'm not going to leave. I'm just going to let it let it run round. Um, one thing I did want to say is I saw a few people today talking about Sabitza and saying that he's not done enough to start uh, to to get a deal at Manchester United. Um, we've spoken about this a few times on the channel as a community, and um, I disagree that he hasn't done enough to get a new deal. I think there's a question mark about whether you give him a new deal, but I, I, don't, I don't think he's not done enough. And the reason for that is, and I, and, and, and I counter those people who say that he hasn't done enough. I think he has done enough. It's more about would I take Sabitza over um, a De Jong or, or, or someone like that. I think we need to buy a midfielder better than Sabitza. That doesn't mean we can't keep Sabitza. And my point is, if you look at over the last month, who's made a bigger contribution, Sabitza, Fred or McTominay? And for me, it's hands down Sabitza. One of Fred or, or McTominay, potentially both, but one of them will definitely stay next season. So why would you not take Sabitza? Like, he is definitely better than McTominay and Fred. So we shouldn't be saying Sabitza hasn't done enough when he's done more than Fred and McTominay, and we will keep at least one of them next year. What we should be looking to do is remove Fred, McTominay, get Sabitzer in, and another midfielder. That's what logically we should be doing. The only reason I wouldn't get Sabitzer is I, I want us to get somebody else as well. Um, a draw tonight would be a good result, but I'm still hoping for the win as it would main top make, make us get top four, I think, says Daniel. Yep, I agree. I agree with that. Um, I do agree with that. Who do you think will keep out of Fred and uh, McTominay? It's hard to say, isn't it? Because McTominay's not played a lot recently, but he has been injured, so you don't know where he figures in Ten Hag's thoughts. I think he would have played a bit. Fred hasn't played that much. Interesting tonight, Mark. Fred against Casido, who wins, is Andy Cheatham. Well, I'd love Man United to win and get Casido. That's what I'd like. I'd bloody love that to happen, but, uh, you know, I, I don't know whether it will. I don't know. I, I can't. I can't make my mind up, but we'll see. I guess. I guess we'll see. Um, I'm just gonna have a look at Eric Ten Hag's comments here, but um, let's have a let's have a look. Um, there is talk that Casido might be playing at right back, although I've not really seen anything of that extent. Um, but let's have a look at uh, Eric Ten Hag and see what he's been saying. Um, oh no, they haven't come in yet. I thought. I thought. I thought somebody would have put the quotes out. Uh, Eric Tanhar gave Paul Ince a bottle of wine, but he did also speak as well. Has no one bothered to get the quotes? All right, maybe we'll get some official quotes soon. Okay, that's a bit. That's a little bit disappointing. But he looks in a good frame of mind. Somebody just said there, what do you think is going to happen with the sale of Manchester United, Mark? Do you think we'll get any news soon? Um, I think it's difficult, isn't it? I, I mean, look, one of the one of the things I would say is I do think we'll get some news soon because it will be a week tomorrow since the deadline. Um, so I think if there's going to be another deadline, they've got an, they've got to announce that quite quickly, haven't they? Um, the interesting thing with the United is that we actually are not in the Europa League semi-final. So... The run of playing a game every three and a half days is about to end after West Ham. We play West Ham on Sunday night and then our next game is Wolves on the Saturday. And then we don't play another game until Wolves on the Saturday. And then we have a Thursday and a Saturday before we play the FA Cup. So we've got two midweeks coming up that are clear. And the way Man United tend to work, I wouldn't be surprised if something's going to go on there. Uh, Singer's got his New York ticket. Hope to see you there. Thanks, pal. Thank you very much for your super chat. Um, Carl Robinson's done a super chat. He says, I recently uploaded lots of anti Sir Jim comments on Ineos YouTube page and videos, and since then they've turned off all comments. Once again, hiding the true feelings of Manchester United fans, says Carl. Uh, Mark, the ticket prices versus Arsenal at MetLife this summer are outrageous, uh, says David. The fans always suffer, don't they? Abdullah, thank, uh, thank you very much for joining the members club. I mean, the interesting thing about that is you don't even know who's going to play. 
Um, uh, I am Sonna. That has to be the worst, worst try to catch me out comment I've ever seen. Um, yeah, you have to get up early in the morning to catch me out, mate. Um, I think the longer we wait for news, the more likely it's they're discussing an offer with Guitar, says Joshua Bowwater. Yeah, I, I think that's a great point by Joshua as well. When it comes to the sale of Manchester United, I do agree with you that the longer it goes on, you would hope that means that there's some negotiations going on. Um, and the fact that there's nothing coming out from Guitar or Sir Jim would suggest that both are still in the race, which is what we want. We don't want it to be a, um, a, a foregone conclusion. Um, do you think this is the potential Man United team for the final, says Rahul? I think that Rafael Varane will be back. And I think that will make a big difference. Um, you could play Varane and Lindelof and put Luke Shaw at left back. You could play Varane and Shaw and drop Victor Lindelof. There's a few options in there for Manchester United. But look, by the time we play that FA Cup final, who knows will be who will be available? Who knows who could be injured? So I wouldn't um, I wouldn't have too big uh, an opinion on that because you know. As John Lennon once sang, life is what happens whilst you're busy making other plans. And I'll tell you what, forget John Lennon, football lineups are what happen while you're busy making other plans as well. Because if you start thinking, all right, Lin um, Varane comes back and plays in the cup final, well, what if Luke Shaw gets injured? You know, you, you don't know. Um, you don't know how it's going to work out. Um, and I think we've just got to we've got to wait and see and um you know, the FA Cup's a long way off and I'm, I'm, I'm not massively um, concerned about the FA Cup final at this point. What I want to do and what you want to do and what everyone at home wants to do is make sure we get top four. That's the, that's the drama tonight. We want to get top four. That's got to be the focus. And if you look at that league table, which I'm about to put up now, you know and I know that that's not over yet. Um... You look at that league table, and I, I look at it like that. I go, you're a league table. I'm going to talk about you whether you like it or not. I'm going to make eye contact, so don't get uncomfortable. Uh, I look at that league table, and I go 63 points and six games left. Some people are looking at Newcastle. I don't care about Newcastle, really. I think we'll finish above Newcastle looking at their fixtures, but if they finish above us, fair play. They deserve it. But what I'm looking at is... Let's get 72 points as quick as possible because nobody else below us can get 72 points. It's an impossibility. Do your quick maths. Two plus two is Matic. But Liverpool have four games left. That's 12 points if they win all four. That means they're on 71 points. Spurs can only get 66 points. They've got no chance of catching us. Aston Villa... Well, they're the same. They can only get 66 points. And Brighton, well, they have got seven games left. They could get 21 points, but that would be 73. But if we stop them winning tonight, they can only get 71 like Liverpool. So it's a big game. I mean, I don't think Brighton are going to win every single game. But that's I, all I keep hearing from United fans is Liverpool can only get 71 points. Liverpool can only get 71 points, so uh, we just need nine from the next uh, 18. That's 50%. That's all we need to do. Completely and utterly not realising that Brighton could win their last seven. I don't think they will. They've got to play Arsenal and City, I think. But that's why tonight's really important. Uh, what is your thoughts on youngster Alex Scott, says Harvey? Uh, and if he's the Bristol lad, sounds very interesting. Have you heard anything any more about games to be announced for the tour this summer? Says Hunter, I haven't, mate, I haven't. Um, if Glazers fully leave United and the new owners help rebuild Old Trafford, will you go to Old Trafford instead of doing a watch-along? Just curious, says Yo. Um, well, you know what curiosity did? It killed the Pratt. Uh, what, what, what are you talking about? Um, I don't even know how to answer that question. Will you go to Old Trafford if we get new owners? I'll go to Old Trafford if we've got the Glazers because I have been before. Um, I, you've, you've, you've thrown me with a Pratt comment. I'm sorry. I don't really get what your point is. Um, but look, thank you very much for it anyway. Um, anyway, uh, hi Mark. Come visit San Diego. It's the nicest city of all the cities on the American tour, says United AV. Look. We've got a tour, we've got a transfer window, we've got a, a, a trial um, between two potential owners. 
they're all on the horizon and they look interesting. But what is in front of us tonight is a massively entertaining feast of football. Um, because Brighton are a fantastic side and they're hungry like a wolf. Not a wolf, because wolf, they, they battered them. But um, Dean Downey says, even if we finish, where are we? Where we are now? We've exceeded most people's expectations this season. Well, look, as I say, you've got United on 63 points. We've got Brighton today. Even if we lost to Brighton, which we could do. I don't think we will, but even if we did. Um, we've got West Ham at the weekends. You've got to be beating West Ham. You've got to beat West Ham. But let's say we draw with West Ham. That's 64 points, right? You still have uh, four games left and you need seven. You've got Fulham at home. That's got to be three. You've got Wolves at home. That's got to be three. Um, and you've got Chelsea at home. That's got to be three. And Bournemouth away as well. So, look, tonight's our hardest game left. And we've still got five games after tonight. So, I think tonight's... I wouldn't say tonight's bonus points because I don't want to get beat. But I think if we get a result tonight, we're laughing. Even if we've uh, done that one from Dean, thanks for the super chat. Uh, KFC says, hi, Mark. I can't help but feel that Victor should start off form. Fergie always played the person who performed the best. And if he slips up, then Rafa would step in. Scott was our head of Casemiro, if you remember, says KFC. Yeah, but you're talking to, I think you're talking about the cup final. You're talking about the cup final. Um, it's like talking about what you're going to do on your honeymoon when, when, when the person hasn't even agreed to marry you. Like the, the FA Cup final is miles away. There's so much football to be had. There's people who could get injured again. There's fitness returns. You know what? You what? What? Why? What? Why are you planning what position you're going to do in on your honeymoon when you haven't even found someone to marry? Like this. There's, there's so. I don't want to talk about the FA Cup final. I think too. You know, it's like I see all these clips all the time, and I think we as a community have moved past all this. Oh, who's had the better season? Arsenal or Man United? Couldn't give a shit. Man City are going to win the league. Oh, who's the bigger club? Is it Aston Villa or Newcastle? Who gives a shit? They're both having a good season. And neither of you are going to win the, win a trophy this year. So, you know, enjoy your progress. Like, silly arguments. And, and, and unfortunately, it infiltrates our fan base a bit. I think Lindelof should play in the final over Varane. What? In six games time? In a month? We're picking teams in a month. Come on, there's so much that can go on before that. If Varane was fully fit, Varane starts. He's our best centre-back. But I also agree that Lindelof's playing bloody brilliant at the moment. And, and you're quite right. Um, McTominay kept Casemiro out at the start. Uh, Dean says, Kane or Osman, who would you prefer? Osman. Uh, my mum's a Newcastle porter. She's just told me to dream on about getting top four in a Champions League, says Horn. Yeah, well, tell her that uh, she knows nothing. She's like Jon Snow. And tell her she's Jon Snow. She knows nothing. Absolutely nothing. And uh, absolutely right. Hi, Mark. I saw that left foot, mate. Top bins. Great technique. Van Persie would be proud of that one. James, I've had a good day today. I mean, I'm, I've, I've been looking forward to this watch along and spending it with you the most. But I've had a very productive day today. You can look at my TikTok for my top bins. You can look at my Instagram story for my top bins. Don't actually look at TikTok. Don't go on my Instagram story because that's got me falling over. But um, go for Goldbridge out again. Thoroughly enjoyed that. You know, um, so it's been a productive day. So much so I forgot about my top bins. Uh, given De Jong's willingness to stay at Barcelona, would you take him at United if he doesn't want to be here? Yes. Uh, yes, I would, Stim. I, I, I think that... The thing that draws me to De Jong, he's a fantastic player, but he's also a player that uh, Eric Ten Hag really wants. Do you want a charity boxing match against me, says Rory C. I'm thinking pre-game versus Wrexham. Uh, mate, I'll be, I'm, I'm going to be really arrogant here and say, if I'm going to do a charity boxing match, it's got to be against someone like Carragher or Neville, or, or you know, somebody that it's worth getting knocked out by you know because my wife would kill me i can't i can't with all due respect i can't have a wreck i can't have a boxing match with 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 a random um too much to lose including my marriage um it's got to be a life-changing amount of money basically um and i wouldn't do it anyway but basically that's why everybody does this boxing um i'm the only one who thinks we could finish above arsenal based off form and remain remaining games is stefan um, it would be an incredible thing if we did finish above Arsenal. I mean, ultimately, I always go off my hunch. 
if we did finish again above Arsenal, I, I don't know that I'd enjoy it because it's still second place. It's still Man City. And you know what You know what would wind me up if we finished above Arsenal? A lot of our fans would be going, ah, Arsenal, look at you. Ha <laughs> ha, we finished above you. And then Man City are like, hold my beer. I, I really, I want to stop all that. Maybe people will come with me on the journey. Maybe some people won't. But I'm very conscious of this petty argument stuff that sort of destroys fan opinion. Um, I think there's intelligent conversations to be had. I think you can look at what Haaland's done and respect it. You can look at how good Man City are and respect it. You can look at what Arsenal have done and where they've come from and respect it. You can look at the fact that Klopp has somehow got that team to start winning loads of games and go, you know, as a coach, he's decent. I just think you're in the wilderness if you're having arguments about who's had the better season as our Arsenal. I think our standards have to be high. You know, I, I don't really want to argue about who's the bigger team if neither, is, neither of us are going to finish first. I would rather say Man City are better than us. They've got the better coach. They've got the better players. They've got the better stadium. They make their way better than us. What are we doing to try and get there? I just think it's wasted energy to start going, ah, we're a bigger... Rashford's better than Saka. Rashford's better than Saka. We've had, we've had a better season than you, Arsenal. We've had a better season than you. Liverpool, ah, take your, take, take your medicine, Liverpool. You've won the title in the Champions League in the last few years, but we finished above you. I'd rather just go to this season's progress. I want Man City. That's what I want. That's what I want. Um, I don't want small victories. I want big ones. Do you think United should buy a backup for Bruno at some point or just play the likes of Ericsson and Sancho if Bruno is ever available? Um, I don't think we will be getting a backup for Bruno, Glenn. Um, I don't think it's a priority. Do you reckon a win tonight secures top four, says Nathan? Well, it won't secure top four technically, but... I'm going to move on from the league table now. But if we won tonight 66 points and um, Liverpool can only get 71, yeah, we, we, we won't drop enough points to finish behind Liverpool. So, yeah, I think it would. And Brighton wouldn't be able to finish above us either. So, yeah, be a very hard. It's going to be very, very hard to win tonight. And I'll tell you now and I'll tell you this. If we win tonight, that's super impressive. We're capable of doing it. And if I was Ten Hag, I would be pumped up th this if I was Ten Hag, I'd be saying to the lads in the dressing room right now, this is your biggest game of the season. Uh, RMA fell to third place. Real Madrid fell to third place in the Liga. They're probably not beating Man City. It looks like we really need to stop the treble. Yeah, it's on, well, it's on us, Carol. It's on us. Who can you see as a realistic partner with Casemiro in the midfield next season, says Matty. I think Casido could do it. I think Dion could do it. They're my top two. Mark, I just spent 500 on my United versus Arsenal ticket this summer. Are you or any United stand members going? I'd love to meet some of you. We will be there, Cody. We've not sorted it out yet, but we will be there. Uh, I'm planning on the New York or the Vegas or uh, trip. I just don't know which one. I probably won't do both because I do enjoy doing the early morning watch-alongs and stuff, but I definitely want to come over for at least one, so we'll get that sorted. Um, please do subscribe to the channel, by the way. Bottom right-hand corner to do that. You got to pump it up, says Mr. Tony. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, box Cal the Dragon, revenge for his performance, says Zing. I mean, that wouldn't be fair. You know, I respect Cal the Dragon. You know, I exp I respect my team. You know, that that that, that team was my team, and uh, I respect those people. It would be a uh, that would be like Roy Keane boxing Sir Alex or Peter Schmeichel. You know, it's you shouldn't be boxing your manager. You really shouldn't. Um, let's have a look if we've got these Eric Ten Hag quotes coming in yet. I'm sure he has had things to say. Um, he has. He said, on the reason for the changes, he says tactically, uh, but also in terms of workload. Sunday, we've got another game. We've already played a lot of games and we want to keep everyone fit because difficult weeks are ahead. I don't believe you, Eric, about that. I don't think Ericsson and Sancho um, have been left out for, because of workload. I think Ericsson's been left out because he didn't play well against Brighton at Wembley and we need some more physicality in there and tenacity from Fred. Uh, and I think Sancho's not playing because Martial's a better number nine than Rashford and Rashford's a way better left winger than Sancho. I think I, th I think it's, you know, I think, I think it's quite clear. Uh, he's also gone on to say we've got a tough game and we're looking forward to the challenge. We like the challenge and we like the test. And as I said, yeah, I think if you're Eric Ten Hag, you are saying to your players, look, what an opportunity this is. They're a fantastic side. They're going to come at us really hard. And uh, if we can win this, I think we've basically got top four sorted. Um, but you know what, lads? More than that, more than that, this is a crap away record 
we've not beat anybody in the top eight and we've, had, we've lost to everybody in the top eight apart from Spurs. Let's end the season with a with the most impressive impressive of away wins. I mean, look, winning at the Emirates, winning at the Etihad, that's probably the two best away wins you could have this season. And then I think winning at Brighton's got to be right up there, just based on form. I think they're fantastic uh, with Newcastle. Um, he says, tough weeks are coming with six games to go and then a cup final. So, yeah, we want to keep everyone on board. Um, he said that... Um, uh, well, you have to you have to face the facts. It's the truth. The difficulties on the outside. We know we have to do better. I think it will come, and it's a question of personality and character. We have a cut tough game today, but we like a challenge. We had a lot of chances in the FA Cup semi final. I think the game was very close, and everyone enjoyed at the stadium. I expect the same on Fred. I think it's the perfect match for him. He did well when he came on in the semi finals, so we expect the same from him. And um, also, don't forget. Andre Mariner is the referee tonight. I didn't really want to say it. I didn't really want to say it, but uh, Andre Mariner is the referee tonight. Um, and um, that worries me a lot because it's him who is the Pratt that sent Casemiro off and he shouldn't be anywhere near Casemiro. Um, I sent a super chat the other day uh, and you read out my name. I'm a Pratt. Love the watch-alongs. Mark, I've played the game, says Lee Fletcher. Thank you very much for your super chat there. Um... Uh, Tevin says, did you see Simon Jordan comments on Man United's fans' reaction to the ownership? He knows nothing about why fans don't want Sir Jim, says Tevin. I haven't, mate, so I can't really comment on somebody um, who has said something there. I mean, if you want to tell me, I, I will, but um, I don't know. Uh, Rory C says, you know the way Ziliakos bid was kind of laughed at? Sir Jim Radcliffe is trying to do the same, but not bringing the fans along for the other 50%. Me no like Sir Jim Radcliffe, says Rory C. Uh, what about winning at Anfield, Mark, says Sylvie? Look, winning at Anfield would be great because it's our biggest rival. But I think based on who are the best teams in the league this season at home, I think that uh, obviously Man City and Arsenal are the best two teams in the league. And then I think Newcastle and Brighton are probably the next two best teams in the league. Villa have had a brilliant end to the season. Um, Spurs, I don't really think are that good. Liverpool, um, look, Liverpool have won their last few games, but they've won them all by one goal. Like I, I think Liverpool have done really well to pick up some wins, but I don't think Liverpool are better than Brighton. I don't think they're better than um, Newcastle, and I don't think they're better than Man City and uh, and uh, Arsenal. So I think if we can win at Brighton today, especially after their great result at the weekend, and especially after the fact that they want some revenge against us, I think it's uh, I think it's a massive result if we can do it. Why is only Qatar looking for a full sale? Thought United would be very attractive. Lots of pretty rich people out there, says Tahar. But Liverpool put themselves up for sale and nobody moved in, did they? So, you know, it's um, it's interesting in that sense. Uh, please do subscribe to the channel, by the way. Bottom right-hand corner. Um, but, uh, yeah, thank you very much for that. Um, yeah, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. Yeah, remember United are playing West Ham on Sunday afternoon. We can't blame the refs, says La. We bloody well can. We bloody well can. I think he's a shocking referee. Absolutely shocking. Um, I think he's. I think he's. I think it was disgusting. Let's just remind ourselves why Andre Mariner is dangerous. The game is Manchester United against Southampton. Anthony Taylor is the referee. Casemiro wins the ball, but on rolling over the top of the ball, he catches the Southampton player. Anthony Taylor gives a yellow. Andre Mariner gets it in his ear and says, you might want to review it for a red in slow motion. Anthony Taylor reviews it, gives a red card. The day before, Andre Mariner was refereeing his own game and let three tackles worse than Casemiro go Two of them without even a yellow card. That's how why he's dangerous. Because he's a complete and utter incompetence. The sun is the same in a relative way, but you're older. Shorter of Beth and one day closer to death, says Connor. Wow. Um, Mark, I'm American. What does Pratt mean exactly? Also, I predict another Casemiro red, says Matthew. Um, well, it's a great question. Um, I can give you the definition of Pratt um, from the English diary. Because um, I don't know what it is, um, but basically it's derogatory and it, and and it basically identifies an incompetent or stupid person slash an idiot. Um, 
Informally, it's also a person's buttocks, which I never knew. I never knew that a prat was your arse. Um, I'm definitely using the derogatory term when I say you're a prat. Incompetent, stupid or idiot. That's basically what prat means in the Goldbridge vocabulary. Um, anyway, Kevin Williams, welcome to the Members Club. With the low in wan recent performance, do you think right back is still an area we should focus on? Says Miguel. I don't, Miguel. I'm very happy with our right back situation, as many of you know. Please do subscribe to the channel, by the way. I'm using the force. You, force. Subscribe to the channel. Bottom right hand corner. Subscribe to the channel. We're nearly at 640,000. Subscribe. Subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. Bottom right hand corner. As I come back into focus. Um, anyway, enough of that nonsense. Um, My hair's quite good tonight, isn't it? Uh, don't forget, we're sponsored by Boohoo Man as well. I've got my Boohoo Man hoodie. I like this for the evening games. Therm, it's got it's got uh, canvas line. Not can. What's he call it when it's like thermal lining? I think it is. It's very warm and cosy. It's the perfect chill out thing. I wear it in bed. I wear it to watch a film. I wear it in the garden when I'm letting the dog out. Love it. Love it. Uh, 40% off with the code Goldbridge. Links in the video description or you can scan the QR code on your phone as it goes round. Big shout out to Boohoo Man. 40% off. Mark, I'm a United fan from Singapore. Wish Man United, new owner from Qatar. Glazers out, says Rianto. Thank you for all your super chats tonight. Appreciate those. You can do that through the dollar sign. Fleece lining, that's the one. Ed, Adam Edwards. Fleece lining! Go, 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 go. Fleece lining. Rubbish. Rubbish. Uh, may the fourth be with you, says Perkins. I do feel like saying May the 4th with you is a little bit noncy. Yeah, I think I've probably done it on Twitter in the past, and I do like Star Wars, but sometimes I think it's a bit cringe. Um, yeah. My brother loves the channel, says Brindus. His name is Rarish, and it's his birthday tomorrow. Could you wish him a happy birthday? Keep smashing it. Happy birthday to Rarish. Hope you have a fantastic day, mate. Uh, Mark, was the cat on the windscreen yours, says Joshua Bowater. What cat on the windscreen? What are you talking about? Hi, Mark. Orange juice or apple juice? Also, I've cleared the game. I like this question, the big P. In fact, I'm going to throw it open to everybody. It's not football related, but we like a poll. Either or, I know, I know who wins. Orange juice. We're talking fresh here. You know, we're talking like what you have in the morning. We're not talking orange cordial or apple cordial. We're not talking apple tango or orange tango. We're talking apple juice or orange juice that you have in the morning. Um, that's what we're talking about, right? I would go with... Depends on the mood. It's a little bit like a Chinese takeaway and an Indian takeaway. It depends on the mood because I didn't feel very well on Monday, as many of you know. And I was just I was just um, guzzling orange juice like a Land Rover 4x4 Sport guzzles petrol. Um, so I really liked my orange juice on Monday. But then if I'm more casual, I quite like an apple juice. So it's... It, it's, um, it's uh, OJ all the way. Are we talking orange juice or OJ Simpson, Gary? Because that's controversial. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I, I think I'm going to go, based now, I quite feel like an orange juice. But in an hour or two, it might be an apple juice. Mark says, Armin, I'd rather Sabitzer play instead of Fred. He's strong and tenacious and a better passer. Why do you think Eric, Eric hasn't picked him? Armin, because we're going to play on the break. We're going to be defensive. That's why. There ain't no way in a million years I think United are getting hold of this game possession-wise. Therefore, you're better off with somebody who's a better tackler. And I think that's Fred with a better engine. Uh, I also think Casemiro plays better with Fred. So it's a big game for Casemiro. Um, Ashan has given us another super chat. He said, Jordan said we're hypocrites for wanting guitar and we shouldn't complain they bought on debt as that's how business is usually bought. What a prat. Uh, Mark, concentrate. Apple juice is nasty, but pressed apple juice is superior, says Darren. Orange juice in the morning and in nightclubs, apple in the day, says the Big Pete. Lots of people talking about it. Um, right, let me just answer this question about the ownership. So Simon Jordan does the uh, morning show on Talk Sport with uh, Simon. Slow Sports News, Jim Waits. Um, and apparently Simon has said that uh, uh, Manchester United 
fans are hypocrites for wanting guitar and we shouldn't complain that they bought on debt as that's how business are usually bought. So that's what Simon thinks. What do you think, Goldbridge? Well, I think that he's right that lots of businesses are bought on debt. But I think United fans are also right that there is an owner that won't buy us on debt. So would you rather be bought on debt or not on debt? That's a personal choice for fans. We're not hypocrites if we would rather be bought by somebody that will clear the debt. So we're not hypocrites. Um, and um, also, surely we live in a society where people have the freedom of choice to pick what they want for their football club. Um, the reason Manchester... And I don't like Qatar being attached to this. I keep saying this. Why is it that anybody who criticises United fans for wanting Qatar really do not understand the truth? Man United fans have wanted the Glazers out for years and years and years. Man United fans have wanted an owner that has full control and financial responsibility for years and years and years. Man United fans have wanted a full sale for years and years and years. And Man United fans have wanted the club to be debt free for years and years with no dividends coming out for years and years. So how are we hypocrites for, uh, and moaners for wanting guitar when they represent everything we've wanted for years and years. It's not our fault they're the only one who, who represents it. As I said, it could have been Elon Musk, it could have been Amazon, it could have been Apple. It could be a, it could be loads of people. In this instance, it's guitar. They represent what United fans want. Why are we hypocrites or moaners for wanting it? And why should we want what everybody else says is okay when we know what we want? We know what we want. Uh, we've uh, done that one, uh, done that one. Um, it was during the show when a cat jumped on the car windscreen and made you jump. I think it was in COVID. Oh, yeah, that was my cat, Joshua. Yeah. I thought it was something that happened today. You know, I'm driving with Goldbridge. I thought I'd hit a cat. I was like, oh, my God. How, how did I not notice that? No, I'm, I know what you're on about now. Yeah. Yeah, that was my cat. That was my cat. It was. Just a little warm up before the game. The lads are doing it on the pitch. Goldbridge is doing it as well. Bit of a hip thrust. Well, it's around the world, really. Stretch those hamstrings out. Cross the legs. Little bit of a bend forward. Ooh. Little bit of a bend forward. Oh, yeah. You know, it, it, there's nothing like a good stretch when you get older. And that one, you know where you cross your one foot in cross of the other and then you just bend forward with your arms like that and balance oh what it does to your hamstrings and your calves oh it's first class oh love it love it i never used to stretch when i was younger never never got injured either um very energetic tonight mate did you get some this morning so steve no i'm just really looking forward to this game steve really looking forward to this game um brighton are a fantastic side they're hard not to like it's a big test for us. And look, I think it's a big test for us. I, I haven't said this, but I also think it's a big test for us for next season as well. It's about where we're going to be next year. Um, how far are we off? Because Brighton are consistent. They play this brand of football that they do. How, can we lay a glove on them? What if the only way to get hold of Man United is to let the Glazers keep 10 or 20%? Well, it's not, Colin. It's not. Um, if we don't get Qatar, more players like Bellingham will dodge us like him even after we rolled out the red carpet, says Connor. Moira Reddy, thank you very much for joining the members club. What about the way the Glazers have run the club? Has been moral towards the fans? What about fans' mental health? The sale process is brutal to some, says Paolo. And have a guess who the ref was that gave Casemiro that red card against Crystal Palace. It wasn't Na Nanny, it was Andre the Mariner the Pratt, says Jackie Boy. Yeah, he, I, I, I don't rate him. Um, I don't think he should be refereeing Man United games either. Never forget the Glazers takeover was a hostile one after their first two attempts was rejected by the board because of the amount of debt involved, says Glonny. Uh, and hi, Mark. I love the watch along and make sure to stretch as well to be warmed up, says Adam. Well, I've just had a stretch there and I've got to say it was really nice. So thank you very much for that. Uh, you're very, very, very welcome. Um, Let's get ready to rumble, everyone. Let's get ready to rumble. We're, we're, we're good to go here. Um, we're about 10 minutes away from the start. Start chucking in who you think is going to be our man of the match. I'm going to take a few notes down for the match reaction that I like to have ready to answer. You know, I'm sort of talking about, you know, like things like possession. Possession's really important to me. Um, sometimes I pick a player out. So I think Martial's really important tonight. Um, another big test for Victor Lindelof and Shaw as well. Um, so, yeah, I think that uh, that's another thing to write down. 
as well. Um, Uh, let me have a look at what people are saying in the chat. Right. Orange juice won. 55% of the vote. Don't blame me. Uh, that's what happened. Uh, orange juice won that poll. End it. There we go. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I think that... As a predictor, I think Brighton will have 60% possession. I think they'll probably have double the amount of shots we have. Uh, I think we've got to defend well. Uh, DHT says, what are your thoughts on Fred starting? Uh, I think Fred starting is not a massive problem. I probably wouldn't have expected it, but on in logic, logically, you can understand it. Um, I can't remember what I did with my preview team, actually, because maybe I had Ericsson, but... I think it's um I think it makes makes a lot of sense. Um, um I think that when you think about the FA Cup game a lot of people in the chat were screaming for Fred to come on because Ericsson was getting overrun. So, yeah, I, I think it's um I think it makes a lot of sense and uh I certainly don't have a few huge um issue with it. I think it makes sense, as I say. Um, Harry Maguire needed to start. I won't read your name out. It's not fair. And uh, do you think Bellingham is overrated, says Zing? No, I think he's a good player. Uh, I wish we could start talking about the signings we're going to do. But as Eric, as we discussed on the show this morning, Eric Ten Hag clearly doesn't know. I think we dominate this game and win easy, says Ash. I think you would be in the minority with that, mate. But if we can do it, it will be huge. Um, hi Mark, I graduated college today. My dream job would be at the United Stand. How do I apply? Says Yash. Well, actually, you know what? You know I love you lot. Um, I want, I'm going to give you a couple of exclusives tonight, and I might give some memberships as well, if, if you remember. But um, we are. Um, I'm sort of giving you a bit of an exclusive here. So we are going to do um, a creator fund, basically. Um, and I don't know when we're doing it. It's going to happen over the summer. But you know, you you can get a, you can get ahead here if you work at a university or something like that, or you're in the industry. Basically, we're going to have a creator fund where there's a pot of money, and it could be like ten, twenty, thirty grand. Um, and we're going to get people to basically send in um, ideas for programs um, that they would like to be part of and create. Now, we're not going to make, we, we will provide you the studio if you need it, uh, but you're going to have to plan it out. You're going to have to have your presenters and everything ready. Um, and, and the reason we're going to do it is, one, we want to give back, but also it's a great way to discover talent. So if you are at university or, you know, you are in the business or you want, you know, I don't know whether it's suitable for getting into the business. I mean, I certainly wouldn't be sending an email saying, I live at home with my rabbits and uh, I really, I've got a great idea for a watch along and uh, I'm going to do it on my bloody phone. You know, obviously we want it to be, you know, properly planned out. And, you know, so basically you come and create, we, we, we give you the money and you create it. Um, but that's, that's something that's going to happen. And um, if you're interested in that, that's football at gmail.com. That's football media at gmail.com that's football media at gmail.com i think that's what it is but that's a, i mean look that's not officially started yet but um it just reminded me uh, i'm sure that's the email address yeah that's football media at gmail.com um if you want to get ahead of the game i've played the game get ahead of the game um anyway we are five minutes away from the start here um Sorry, I've just thought of something else I want to do at, uh, in relation to the game. Right, uh, please do subscribe. Two Anthony goals are coming up, says the Hunter's Army. My score prediction is 2-2. My only concern with playing Fred is his inconsistency. Will this be one good game out of 10? Well, hopefully last week against Spurs was his bad game, Stephen, because he was rubbish. Ayush, welcome to the Members Club. Thank you very much for that. Um, we've got uh, Catherine, who's been a member for 17 months. I uh, love the show. Do you remember being attacked by geese? Also, I hope De Gea has a good game. He's been getting too much hate since Sevilla. This is Catherine. 
Uh, difficult game tonight. Can't wait, says Andrew Small. Uh, thank you, Catherine and Andrew. I, th I think I think De Gea is going to be busy tonight. And I think he, he, he played well at Wembley, didn't he? Made some uh, good saves. He will be busy tonight, uh, David De Gea. Uh, no doubt about that. Um, so, you know, I don't think he's going to have a quiet game. I think Lindelof and Shaw will be busy as well. Um, I think it's going to be a really busy, busy game. Um, the second thing I was going to tell you, the players are coming out onto the pitch here. Uh, what I wanted to say was that um, some of you will have your tickets for Dublin already. It's going to be our biggest live show yet. Um, it's a massive show in a massive venue. End of season, United Stand on Tour show, June the 6th. The season will be over three days after the FA Cup. I'm really hoping it's going to be a celebration. But one way or the other, it's going to be really interactive. Um, if you've bought your tickets, you'll start getting emails soon with about 10 different categories for you to reply with your um, answers. Um, you're, we're going to do like an end of season awards show where we're going to give out awards for like player of the year, goal of the season, you know, most improved, flop of the season, etc. So uh, if you've not bought your tickets yet, it's pinned in the live chat and it's in the video description. Um, if you have bought your tickets, keep an eye on your emails because that's going to be coming out over the next week or so. Uh, so we can start compiling that. Um, I say next week or so, maybe the next couple of weeks because obviously there's still a few weeks left in the season. But I think a lot of those awards could be voted for already. Uh, I can't wait for it. So yeah, get your tickets while you can. Links in the live chat, video description, Dublin. Um, I'm really, really excited about this game now. You know, very rarely, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to lie and say I feel like turning the stream off and just sitting back and watching it because I've been watching games with you for ages um, and I'm more than capable of watching it and analysing it with you. But I really do want to sit back and watch this game and I'm relaxed about it. I'll be furious if we lose. I'll be furious if we get played off the park. But I'm relaxed about it in the sense that it's not going to surprise me if they have more the ball than us. Um, Gilmore played brilliantly at the weekend for Brighton, by the way. And not only that, they've, they've just got so many good players. Um, Casemiro faces it all about Mourinho. Mar Marina says that's sport. Um, hi, Mark. Just purchased my Arsenal versus United ticket in US. I hope I get to see you here. Says Sachin. Thank you very much, mate. Uh, Akash has just gifted five memberships. Thank you, pal. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I'm sure you'll be saying thank you if you got one. Uh, Varane is our best player, in my opinion. If he plays as a midfielder, he's better than McTominay, says Nicola. I can't imagine Varane playing in the midfield. Uh, Carlos says, are you coming to New York? Uh, yes, we will be there, Carlos. Uh, it's not confirmed whether I'm going to be there yet, but uh, we, we, we will be there. Hi, Mark. Have United have 1.1 billion fans worldwide. Uh, chip in 5.45 each. Buy off the Glazers. Sell to the Shake for 5 billion. Loss of 45 pi each, says uh, LJC. If only it was that simple, mate. If only it was. Uh, Angry Brits just gifted 10 memberships. Well done. Thank you, Angry Brit. You're a legend as well. Uh, we're about ready to start here. I'm massively excited. I hope you are as well. Huge game for Manchester United. Huge game for Brighton. Um, in a footballing sense, there's points up for grabs. Of course there are. But I actually also feel like... Um, Aaron says MUTV focusing a lot on Casido. I think he's a player that we'd like to buy. But... Um, no, for me, this is obviously a big game in the context of the season. But the biggest thing I want to say is that I also think that it's um, a massive game in relation to the uh, progress of this football club uh, regarding um, where we're going. Like, if we get dominated today possession-wise and get a draw, there's still a lot for Ten Hag to do. If we can get on the ball or more and hurt them like we hurt Villa... I think that's a big step forward. So I'm interested in seeing how we approach this game. My, my theory is we'll counter, um, defend and counter, and they'll have a lot of the ball, but we'll see. Anyway, we're up and running. Time is going there below the score if you want to sink in. Hi, Mark. Off topic, would Wayne Rooney at his peak cost in today's transfer market, says Ayush? 150 million? Uh, Mark, do you enjoy watch-alongs more when United are not playing since you're not emotionally invested in the results of Steven? No, not really. I mean, no, no, no. I, I like to watch a game of football on... Uh, I like to I, I, I like to watch a game of football um, on... Um, that's football. But when United are involved, it's emotional, isn't it? 
Anyway, United starting off with a bit of possession here. Uh, one fifth, two. Come on, lads. We need performance away from home tonight, but this will be tough to respect. Brighton, I take a draw. Hope you're well, Mark, says Kurt. Thank you, pal. Yeah, weird game on Sunday, isn't it? Nice little ball over the top by Rashford. Um, Martial, I don't know whether he would have been offside or not, but it's gone through to the keeper. Mark, can you a desk, do a desk setup soon? I should do that, shouldn't I? Here we go. Brighton passing out from the back as always. United not engaging a press. Letting Brighton centre-backs have the ball. Closing the passing angles. And winning the ball there. Well done, Fred. Here we go. Bruno. There's the ball there. He could have played it. He did play it. Anthony, come on. Oh, that was lovely play. And I tell you what, I was ready to jump. Jump around. I was ready to go there because it was lovely play. Intercepted by, uh, I think, Casemiro. Fred's there. Nice ball from Casemiro into Bruno. Good ball by Anthony. He's onside. He's probably got to do better. He's got to hit the target there. It's just wide, but... Uh, it would have been a great goal. Big chance for Manchester United. Uh, as Fenix said, that would have been a great start. And it would have been. We, we carved them open. And uh, everything was right apart from the finish. Uh, first time being here for a game. Come on, United, says Sam. You're very welcome, Sam. Please do subscribe to the channel, by the way. Bottom right-hand corner. We're on the road to 644,000. Thanks, everyone, tuning in. Uh, good start. Going to be... Well, United have started off well here. Here's Delo again. Interceptions. As I said, I wouldn't be surprised if United played well in a possession sense. Well, I would be. I thought we were going to play counter-attacking. But we played really well against Aston Villa. So, you know... Luke Shaw. <sighs> Referee gives a foul. <sighs> Why is this doing this? I'm trying to get something to work here so I can just have a quick look. David De Gea has gone down injured. What a save by De Gea. But uh, he's gone down injured here. Don't be injured, Dave. We can't be losing, Dave. Why, why is it when I look at my phone, I always miss something big? I need to stop looking at my phone. Oh, they're not... They'll, they'll show Coleman twist his knee four times over, but they won't show back what happened to De Gea. Dave saves. Here we go. Lindelof with a bit of a mistake. It was Lindelof's mistake. And he's made a save with his head. Great save by Dave. Yeah, hits him in the face. Trouble is, we can't be having a can't be having concussion. Butland's warming up. That would be a big, big flow. That would be a big blow, wouldn't it? That would be a big, big blow. Ball smacked him full on in the face. I think he'd be all right. I think he'd be all right. Smashed him right in the face. Um, bad mistake by Lindelof. Bad mistake by Lindelof. Um, trying to pass it into Wambasaka. Matoma read it well. 
David De Gea doing what his job is. This is just about, is he concussed from a ball hitting him in the face? Butlin time, says Leo. Dave, I think you should come off, mate. If you've got a, if you've got a concussion, I think you should come off. I, I actually think that the uh, the fitness guy is telling him to come off. Hi, Mark. Tonight I'm travelling to London to watch my first United game. I'm super excited and let's hope we win today. Hopefully Ten Hag makes good subs, says what would happen. You know what? I did that on purpose, actually. If you watch Going for Goldbridge, I was talking about the youth having um, you know, lots of time on their phone. And uh, that's why you shouldn't be on your phone all your time. You miss lives. You miss lives. Beth's spell is working, says Asma. I think it'd be all right. I think it's just clever to take a bit of time, you know, just to clear your head, quite literally. Uh, Matoma should have scored, though. Good chance. Yeah, it looks all right to me. Good. Um, being told off in the chat. Uh, Mo Mo Moira has just gifted five United Stand memberships. You're a legend. Thank you. Dreadful pass by Lindelof, though, says Dylan. It was. It was. It looks all right. I think it smacked him in the eye, really. Anyway, he's all right, David. He's all right. And they've gone straight back to him to give him a kick. So uh, probably a good idea there. But we've probably had about three minutes extra than we normally would have had there. Good start to the game, though. I think it will be an intriguing high-tempo game. Both teams, uh, well, Brighton certainly will want to play football in. United have started off with that as well. Two big chances for the wide men as well. Mitoma having a chance for Brighton. Anthony had a chance before that. So, you know, one one was saved by the keeper. Why do Brighton rotate their keeper so much? I've noticed that. Sanchez, I think, is a really good goalkeeper. But I noticed this season a lot, they do pick this steel guy. Anyone want to give me an answer as to why? I mean, he's just this steel guy at Brighton. He's been there a while, hasn't he? He's, he's, you know, he's. I mean, I'm not saying he's a bad keeper, but um, um, Mark, for your future coaching, would you play possession or counter attacking? Says Desert Hunt. I, I well, if, if you've seen Goldbridge ball in the Sidemen game, I like, I like to pass out from the back. I like to play pass and move. That's the what. That's what I like. Apparently, he's got bits better distribution than Sanchez. There we go. Nice ball over the top and David De Gea is there. He looks all right now. He's going to have a shiner, definitely. You can see where the ball hits him. It hits him on one side. It hits him on his left. It's hit him there. He's got a big red face on that side. The other side's not so red. Apparently he gets picked because he's cheaper on FBL, says Renatus. <laughs> yeah. Martial's not really in this at the moment. Good working back by Anthony. But uh, they've played through the press, Brighton. Here we go, Rashford. Go on, Rashi. Into Anthony. Back post pass, mate. Oh, fucking hell. The pass to Martial. Martial's right to be pissed off there. You know, next season, if you've got Harry Kane, you can't ignore where Martial is here. Watch this back. Great interception by Shaw. Rashford does really well. Martial makes the run. Anthony here, first time. Get that cross over to Martial. No, fucking doesn't do it. That look. I know. I know a lot of you don't like Martial, but the reality is, next season, if you have got Harry Kane or Victor Osman, the wingers have got to see those. They've got to see that. Uh, he's English. Brighton have some issues with Brits being favoured. Says Chris. Okay. Played by Wambasaka. Well, we do need a striker, but one thing that concerns me a little bit is we're not actually brilliant at finding the striker. That has to we have to improve that. 
Uh, Oliver says that Brighton are wonderful at passing out from the back. Well, te uh, Pep said that the other other week, didn't he? He said that uh, didn't he say that Brighton are the best team in Europe at uh, playing out from the back? Ooh. Like I like the interchangeability between Lindelof and Shaw and Delo and Wan Bissaka though. Like sometimes you'll see Wan Bissaka tuck in and Lindelof will go wide and we just saw Shaw and Delo doing it there. Uh, if we keep Martial and we bring in Harry Kane, I don't want to see him wearing the number seven shirt, says Ricardo. Uh, thank you very much, Ricardo. When you do polls, you should really give your answer after the poll is done or else it just heavily influences them, says Tom. I don't, I don't think people vote what I, what I say. That'd be a bit weak. Anthony, you're not boring me. I'm just tired. I've, I've, been, I've not been well this week, so really I've, I'm just tired. But... Uh, this game is not boring me at all. I've been looking forward to it. I've been looking forward to this game for a long time. Brighton away. I knew it would be a test. Nice bloke. Casemiro. Good first touch by Rashford. No. Um, who do you think is the most realistic striker we'll be buying this summer, says Ruad? Uh, Harry Kane. Yeah. Nice ball here. Brighton on the attack. I would sell any player Casemiro if we could have an unselfish playmaking winger. This is Billy Thomas. Mm. Including that, that. Here we go. Brighton on the attack. Nice ball to Matoma. Oh, he's... What is going on there? That's crap defending there. That's not good. wan needs to be a lot tighter here. I mean, he breezes through Mato Matoma here. Like a hot knife through butter. Look at this. Look at the space he's given. No, that's too easy. That's not good defending there. He's not far off either, is he? It's too easy for Matuma, that was. Been a strange game so far, says Chris. It's not really settled, has it? Martial, come on, come on. Played Rashford, go on, pass it. Foul, foul, foul. Grogu says Rashford's not been the same since his injury. Nice ball. No, Casemiro, it's not a good ball. Brighton pick it up again. Look at the way they pass. Oh, good. Come on, Casemiro. Oh. Brighton play a slow pass and then we play a straight pass. Tough game, says Sahil. I think this ref's a bit... Stop start, isn't he? Apparently Andre Mariner lives around where I live and Ben Foster said he's a big guy. You know, you want to be careful if you see him. I'm like, I ain't worried. I ain't scared. I'm not worried about I'm not scared of Andre, Andre, Andre Mariner just because he's a big guy. So what? I still tell him you're rubbish at refereeing. Hopefully he will punch me and then he'll be banned from refereeing forever. Take one for the team. Uh, would you rather have the finishing of Ruud van Nisseroy, the passing of Skulls, the crossing of Beckham, the dribbling of Giggs, or the leadership of Keane, or the pace of Maguire? <laughs> MB, I think you've answered that one yourself. Driving with Mariner. I know where I'd drop him off. Prison for crimes to football. Oh, Wambasaka again. Bad pass, bad touch. He's a bit. Wambasaka's a bit sleepy tonight, isn't he? Was he up last night watching bloody 
playing Fortnite or something. He's he's really off the pace tonight, Wan Bissaka. Matoma's definitely getting the better of him so far. He did well there. Uh, Mohammed, welcome to the United Stand Members Club. But, but Matoma's definitely uh, up for it tonight. Uh, Fred says, I don't like Delo uh, at right foot at left back. They're not doing anything on the Delo side. It's all down Matoma's side at the moment. I can see Matoma at Man City, you know. I, I, I'll, you can clip this if you like. I don't care. I think Matoma's got Man City written all over him. I just think he's absolutely... I mean, the only thing that would stop it is the fact that they've got Foden and Grealish because I think he's a Man City player. Just He just reminds me. Header straight at De Gea, easy save. Would the wife let you box Mariner, says Joshua Bowater. It'd be bad to me, wouldn't he? A lot of these referees, because they're not liked, they're always down the gym. Uh, Laugh Looks, welcome to the members club. Be a good player for Arsenal as well. Yeah, but... How old is Matoma? I'd like Matoma. Who wouldn't like Matoma? 25. Yeah, Matthew, thank you. Yeah. I think he'll stay at Brighton another year. Like De Zerbi. They're such a... The, the thing about Brighton is they're, they're, they're very hard to dislike as well, aren't they? Like, they're just a very likeable side. And it's because they do it the right way. Start, bench, sell, Rashford, Bruno, Casemiro. Oh, I'm not... Mate, MB, we're not doing all that. This is, a, this is a good game. Here's Matoma again. Skips past wan -Bissaka. Wants a penalty for it. Didn't look like a penalty to me. Mark, picking up from your driving video. Uh, hold on. Rashford's in. Bad first touch. Down the left-hand side. He's still got it. He's still got it. Greedy. Didn't look for the pass. It must be so frustrating for Martial. It really must be so frustrating. Never look up. Do you think that was a penalty? Let's have a look. Matoma. No. Dive. Should be booked for that. Well, I just tweeted it there. It must be so frustrating being a striker for Manchester United. We've seen Anthony do it. We've seen Rashford do it. Never get their head up. They're never looking for the striker. It's got to be solved next year. You can spend 150 million on a striker if they're not getting the service. Um, Luke Jones says, picking up from your driving video, when you're in the US, you could do Goldbridge on the Golden Gate Bridge. That would be great. Uh, that would be great, Luke. Uh, cross comes in. Ooh, Lindelof was up. Keeper came and punched it. Uh, Alex says, um, if Martial had no injury problems, how do you think he would compare to Osman or Kane? Great show as always, mate, says Alec. Uh, would you take Mane this summer? It wasn't a penalty. It was a complete and utter dive. Dave says, would you take Mane this summer? No. Liverpool. Wambasaka has had it. Wambasaka is struggling against Matoma. That doesn't mean... Look, Matoma's a bloody good player. It doesn't mean you're a bad player because Matoma's giving you the runaround. But at Wembley, it was a different story. 20 minutes gone. Nice ball into Martial there. Good, intelligent run. He gives it to Anthony. He's going to shoot. Side netting. Should have been a corner. He's given a goal kick. Pratt. I think this is a corner. Lovely play, though. Rashford and Martial. Intelligent little run. See, Martial always looks for the pass. I mean, that's what you want your striker to do. Intelligent little run. Lays it off. That's what you want Rashford and Anthony to do. Actually look for the pass. Brighton passing out from the back. 
United trying to engage the press. Look at that. Even with the press, they pass out so easily. Come on, keep it going. Matoma's writing a master thesis on dribbling, says Axel. Favourite striker from the 90s, Mark Kanchelskis all day for me, says so Stee. Thank you very much, Stee. My favourite striker from the 90s at United would be Cantona. Off topic, but we all want to see cooking with Mr and Mrs Goldbridge, says Vimbara. Nice ball out wide here. Brighton on the attack. United will win that back. Luke Shaw. Lovely ball in. Delo. Oh, I thought Delo was going to get there. He hasn't. Brighton has still got it. Cross comes in. It's a good one. wan is there. Clearance. What we had? 20 minutes. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, by the way. We're only 200 subscribers away from 644,000. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Bottom right-hand corner to do it. United Stand, we're live every night at 8 o'clock. Every morning, 10 o'clock. Get involved. It's going to be a big summer. It's going to be a big before that. You know, got big games, FA Cup final, top four race, sale of the club. ISO says it's got a draw written all over it. I did say a draw, but it um, be interesting to see who scores first. We've had chances, though. I think the Anthony chance, the first chance of the game, was a good one. Appreciate you and the rest of the crew. Can't wait to see you in New York, says this is for Shalin. Thank you very much, mates. Brighton just getting ahead of steam here. What's the stats at the moment? Mark, if Leeds go down, do you think United or any other Premier League clubs go for Tyler Adams, says Joel Morris? Has he done enough? Uh, kind of hope we don't score in the first half as this Brighton side will walk all over us in the second half when our intensity drops, says Little. There we go. Yeah, 56% possession for Brighton. It's not as big as I thought it was going to be. That's what she never said. Um, Bruno can't win the tackle. Hurt his ankle. Not again. Here's Matoma up against wan -Bissaka. This has been the battle so far. And wan is growing into the game now. Good tackle there. He start, it's starting to be an intriguing battle, isn't it? Between uh, wan -Bissaka and um and Matoma. It was a good tackle there. What's our chances of finishing third marks is two trip? I'd say 50-50 at the moment. I want to, first thing for me is top four. Here we go. Matoma against Wambasaka again. He's going to put a cross in that time. Luke Shaw does his job. Bruno wins it. Martial holds it up. Nice little blow back to Fred. Bruno wants the ball. Good ball to Bruno. Bit of space. What's he looking at? He's going to go long. It's a perler of a ball. Oh, bug off. What a ball by Bruno to Rashford. He just couldn't take it down. It was absolutely brilliant the way that we played that out. Really good hold-up play by Martial. Into Fred. Gives it Bruno in space. Pings a quarterback pass to the receiver. And the receiver fumbles. It was a great ball. Difficult to take down by Rashford. But ultimately, he really should have took it down, I think. Who's better in your opinion, Ferguson or Hoyland? i take either of them, mate. Yusuf says, can you spell the email, Mark? It says it's invalid. That's footballmedia at gmail.com. That's footballmedia at gmail.com. Rashford. Oh. Yeah, I'd take Hoyland or I'd take... Um, Hoyland or um, Ferguson. Sell him. Is Anthony with the cross. Oh, good defending by, I think it was Dunk that time. Casemiro always looks for the Hollywood pass, says Faris. Well, United have been a bit unlucky here because it was a great ball by Bruno. Rashford didn't take it down. And then Anthony's put a good cross in. Needed a little bit more height on it, mate. 
The longer the game goes on, the more I like McAllister, says Zeno. Well, United with a corner here that we can't whip into the box because we've got no height. Do you think Dunk's underrated, says Lee J? Well, I think him and Webster are underrated. I mean, you know, lovely cross by Shaw. Casemiro! Ooh, just over the bar. He is the threat. What does Maguire offer that Dunk doesn't, says Stu? What does Michael Keane offer that Maguire doesn't? That was close. This is what Ricky refers to when he speaks about Martial and why he says Martial is better for the team, says Yaza. I say it as well. I mean, Ricky is a big fan of Martial, but I, I, so am I. And I've said it countless times. Martial is very good when he's fit at uh, holding the ball up, running into space to create space for others, the link-up play, uh, leading the press. He is good at it. Uh, Mark, happy with this season progress? Can you call uh, my son Mason a Pratt, says Junior. And so I am happy with this season, yeah. I'll be very happy if we get top four and win the FA Cup. Uh, hi, Mark, hope you're well. Do you think we'll have news tomorrow about the sale and what news do you expect, says Said. I mean, it feels like we might get something tomorrow, but you never know. All right, Mark, watching with the missus. Uh, Grant to be. Can we have some Sean Dyke? She adores your impressions, says Tom. I'll, I'll, have, I'll try and do it in the second half, Sean. Um, I've not been well this week, and Sean Dyche always messes up my throat. Please call Leonard and Leighton a Pratt, says Jaden. Thank you very much. Nice ball there. Luke Shaw again, having a very, very good game. Reading the game. Nice ball here. Lovely ball by Fred into Bruno. Nice link-up plays. Bruno goes to Rashford. Give him a pass or cut in. Greedy by Rashford. It could work. Oh, I tell you what. He was greedy there, Rashford. But he nearly did score. But again, Martial's run is the decoy. Look at this from Martial, where he peels off to. He goes that way. And then it leaves you know, leaves the Brighton defence confused again. Look, I don't I don't mind Rashford there, because Martial confuses them. Good save by the keeper. Should have gone across the keeper. Says Daz. Yeah, he's gone front post glitch. I think we're on top at the moment. We've had more shots than them, haven't we? Here we go. Edge of the box. Oh crap! Crap! Another corner. Let's have a look. Martial's onside. Keeper does well. KW says that Brighton are absolutely dominating you. I don't know about that. Have a stretch mark, says Alec. I think it's been a reasonably even game for an away side I mean obviously Brighton uh, at home are always going to be uh, hard do you, do you see the Martial news from uh, Italy apparently Martial plus 50 to Inter for Martinez says Hunter yeah I wouldn't do that no worries can we have an impression of Ten Hag says Tom huh? I haven't done Ten Hag for ages huh? oh, Ten Hag is just basically at the end of your sentence you go huh? you know what I mean huh Please stop these short corners, says Reese. Yeah. Rasiel, Rashford. He needed to go wide to Anthony, and we've blown it. Sometimes that final pass, the link up plays really good, but sometimes that final pass just isn't right. Rashford looks dangerous tonight, says Junior. I don't think we need a number nine tonight. I disagree with that. Someone in the chat just said we need a number nine. I don't think we need a number nine. I think Martial's playing well. I think we need a little bit better from the wings. A little bit better service. Uh, talking about the wing, here is Brighton coming down the right-hand side. And Delo stops it with his head. Does well. 
Are you doing a coronation watch along 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturday, says Robert? No, I'm taking Seb to play football. I'll do the morning show and then I'm off to do that. Another penalty claim here. No, he heads it. Doesn't hit his hand. Or does he? Well, if it hits his arm, it hits his upper arm anyway. Uh, apart from a brief spell in April, Man United have lacked lethal finishing. They are playing very well in the build-up but can't finish. Maybe someday, says Michael. McDaniel. Well, Brighton have got a chance to whip a cross in here. Hi, Mark. Can you shout out my dad, Malcolm? He's lying in a hospital bed in Malaga. After successful stent operation today, listening to your commentary, says Steve. Thank you, Steve, and all the best, Malcolm. Um, rest up, mate, and hopefully United can give you a good result. And thank you very much for watching, and uh, rest up, Matt, pal. I always panic when I say rest up, because I think, you know, imagine if I said rest in peace by accident. You know, it'd just be a terrible message. Do you, I wonder if he lives in Malaga or whether he's actually on holiday. In which case, I hope you get your money back. Imagine going on holiday and having to have an operation. Lots of love in the chat for Malcolm. That's the United Stand community for you. Uh, Faris says, if we can sort out our final pass, we would be and on top. I don't think it will finish nil-nil, but then again... We didn't think that in the uh, in the FA Cup, did we? Good play by Martial. Gets it wide to Anthony. wan is looking to take the overlap. Anthony ignores it. Gives it into Martial. Terrible, terrible cross. But uh, Rashford will keep it in. Got to go to the low. Should have gone to the low quicker. Went to Fred. That's never a good ball. Oh, Fred wants a penalty. Bruno's saying, why? Why not, referee? Because my name's Mariner and I'm a prat. I'd like to have a look at that again. I would like to have a look at that again. But on, in the meantime, it's Brighton on the attack. I can't speak. I can't comment. I need the coronation watch along thumbnail at least as Hunter. I can't comment because I haven't seen it back yet. Here's Welbeck. United win it back. Harrison, uh, not massively. Can you do a watch along of Seb's football team's game, says Sig? Jack's saying it should have been a penalty. They've not shown us a replay yet. It would have been a cheap penalty, says Bear. Bit off topic, Mark. Love the driving with Goldbridge video today. So true about TikTok. Never would use it and never have visited Western Supermare, says Joseph. Western Supermare's all right. United have had eight shots to Brighton's three. Ooh. McAllister with the shot there. I always look at the keeper when it's a long shot. And De Gea was a little bit planted to his feet. No, he knows. He knows. He knows it's going wide or he's never going to save it. Good technique. Never, not even going to show. Not even going to show the penalty. Twats. Why haven't they shown it? Has anybody, you know, if you live outside the UK, have they shown you it yet? I don't know whether it was. I can't, I can't tell, I can't comment. They bloody, they, they've shown, they showed the bloody Matoma one about 20 times. Joseph, thanks for the super chat. With soft marks as builder. Well, I haven't seen it yet, so I can't, I can't comment. Still 10 minutes to go to half time. We haven't actually scored against Brighton this season, have we? Didn't score at Old Trafford. Didn't score at Wembley. Haven't scored here. 
two and a half games. Soft as a butcher's turd. That doesn't even work. Why would a butcher have a soft turd? If anything, if you eat a lot of meat, you probably get constipated and have a hard one. Oh, it's 2 1 at Old Trafford. I thought we lost 2 0. Uh, love you, Mark. Keep it up, says Jeff. Thanks, pal. It's a long, it's a long time ago. Joe says Martial's been shocking. I actually think he's been all right. I think he's been, I think his link up play's been good. His, you know, intelligent runs, not really any service. Mark, I think this performance is better than the Champions League 99, says Ellie. I think you need to go to bed. They aren't showing it because it was a penalty and now it's been too long, so they won't show it. Says Berry. Well, look, maybe it was a penalty, maybe it wasn't. Here's Brighton. Shoot wide. What are you putting your head in your hands, NC? So you might it's miles wide. Bro's acting like he hit the post. It's miles wide and it's going further wide. It's a terrible, terrible shot, mate. You're a decent player, but don't act like that's close. It's bloody miles wide. It's two meters wide. Look at it. Look at how he react. He, re he reacts like he's at the post, miles wide, and the keeper's covered it. May the fourth be with you, Mark. Says Matt. Mm. Mark saying bro is weird. I do it on purpose. I, I, I don't think I've ever called anyone bro in real life. Brav. I call him brav. Vlad. It was miles wide. Uh, here's Matoma against wan -Bissaka. I think it's equaled out, you know. First 10 minutes, I think Matoma had him on toast. Uh, then wan, -Wan has come back into it. I think that's an equal, intriguing battle again. Uh, big shout out to Boohoo Man, by the way. You can get 40% off now or after the show or whenever. 40% off with the code GOLDBRIDGE. 40% off, eh? Massive. I'm wearing one of their hoodies here. Lovely stuff. Here's Rashford again, letting it bounce. <sighs> See, Rashford's had a couple of these long balls. He's got to take it first time. Would you rather a close, a dose of constipation or diarrhea, says Rory? I, I really don't care, Rory. I, I don't want to think about it either. Boom, boom. Martial. Oh. Oh. What happened there? He stayed down. Looked tidy so far. Reassuring performance, says David Waters. Uh, my girlfriend, Jaya, just did such a bad trump, I can't concentrate on the game. But hopefully it distracts Brighton enough we get the results, says Sean. Get the lightsabers out at half-time, says Iso. Why is Maguire warming up? They're all warming up. Here we go, Martial. That's not a bad shot from Martial. I think the keeper's made two good saves there. I think both Martial and Rashford should be going across the goalkeeper there. Although, to be fair, the tackle by Dunk prevents it. I don't. Abdul says Martial should score it. Mm, Dunk's... Dunk's he, he, he's hit it where he can hit it. Dunk's blocking the shot across the goal. Maguire might be coming on for Martial, says Pete. Dave's long kicking has been so accurate, but we're shocking in the air, says Davids. Yeah, we don't have anybody who can win the ball in the air at all today. Nice ball into Bruno. 
Nice touch by Rashford. Anthony's free if he can hit him. Nah, he's, he tried to, got it wrong. Five minutes to half time. We've got a player down injured here. I think it's Marcus Rashford. It is, but we're playing on. Which player has disappointed you most this season? Says Baggy. Wambasaka. Oh, another corner. Um, which player has disappointed you the most this season, actually? Let's have some people in the chat have their say first. Uh, Rashford's down here. And Eric Ten Hag is not happy. Uh, the Boohoo Man code works now. That's the one. 40% off. So if you've tried it and it wasn't working before, that will work now. Use the code Goldbridge, but you can scan the QR code or go through the link in the description. Uh, which player has disappointed you most this season? We'll come back to that. I've got a new member, which is Joe Morgan. Welcome, Joe. Thank you very much for joining. Jack Strand is a legend. He's just gifted 10 memberships. Uh, David says, Dave, um, shout out Sean. Uh, don't want to speak so soon, but ref's calls have been very forced. At fair, says little Normie. Shout out Sean. He's single now after that comment, says Jaya. <laughs> yeah, Jaya's in the chat. She's just dumped him. Trumped and dumped, basically. A lot of people saying Sancho. Uh, McTominay's in there as well. Um, I don't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't use. Oh, let's see what happens with this corner first. Bruno takes it. Cleared. I wouldn't say disappointment's the right word for Sancho in the sense that he's been crap. But I do agree that there is disappointment there because obviously he missed three months with his own problems um, and he's just not had the season I think we all hoped. So I would agree about Sancho, but not because I'm a hater or anything like that. I just don't think it's been the season we hoped we'd get from Sancho. New manager, possession-based manager. Um, I think we all hoped that Sancho, especially after pre-season, would have a better season. So I agree with that. But I think Ronaldo has to be the answer. And a few people are putting it in the chat. Ronaldo's got to be the biggest disappointment. Player of the year last year. Legend of the club. Not been here. Lovely ball, Rashford. Come on. Bruno's there for you. Bruno's there for you. Ah, final ball. Final ball for fuck's sake, mate. Oh, Casemiro's going to get booked. Marino, he couldn't get it out quick enough. Couldn't get it out quick enough. was a yellow card. But that all comes from the fact that Rashford... I mean, that's a blatant yellow card. I can't argue about it. Um, that all comes from Rashford not seeing the pass to Bruno and then we get broken upon. It's a brilliant bit of breakaway play and it just breaks down again. It, it breaks down too often. In this game, if I'm 10 arg at half-time, I'm saying... Anthony and Rashford, for fuck's sake, you've had so many final passes where we could be scoring. And you're not looking up. Brighton on the attack. Just wide. Um, we play miles better as a team with Sancho in, says Jack. I think we've played well this half. It's just a final ball, which Sancho probably would give us. Um, I'm done watching these poor quality players play. Want these flops out. I'm done. Sorry for anyone going through this. Man United deserve better. Says GJ. A little bit over the top. Tom, I'm not doing start bench sell. I think it's too too good a game to be drifting into that sort of stuff. Ronaldo was the reason the Glazers are selling though. Says Mike. Bollocks. Come on. They're selling because they can't afford to build a stadium, mate. They're not selling because Ronaldo said they're bad owners. A Man United West Ham not even on the telly at 7 o'clock on Sunday night. Having a fucking laugh. Why are we on at seven o'clock at night if we're not on the bloody telly? They've just told they've not they've just not advertised it. Why are we playing at seven o'clock on when on Sunday night if we're not on the fucking telly? 
I can't breathe. Oh, we're on BT. Thank God for that. Need the forwards to click the game. Click, then the game is ours, says Jeff. I think we've played well this half. Against the good Brighton side, I think we've given as good as we've got. Luke Shaw's been brilliant again. Lindelof's been good. I think delo has been good. Oh, Fred, fucking hell. We do all these little passes out the back and then Fred boots it for a throw-in. Puts his hand up and smiles. It's fine, Fred. You smiled. It's fine. Do you think our attack strikers practice just shooting straight at the goalkeeper? Awful finishing, says Bobby. I don't think they. Pra I think I don't think they think uh, practice passing. Good energy here from Brighton. Lovely play. Their shoot. Uh, to be honest, Brighton's shooting's been shit as well. To be fair. We can all talk about ours, but uh, theirs, uh, theirs has not been very good either. And they're shooting from distance a lot, Brighton. They're not carving as open. Uh, who's your overachiever of the season? Personally, I'd take Lindelof as no one had the expectations of him, says Sono. Oh, I think I think I think I think you're right. I think I think Wan Bissaka might be not a bad idea as well. Um I think he's had a good game. Let's just see what happens here with Brighton on the attack. Uh, that's a soft free kick, ref. You're having a laugh. You are having a laugh. Would you rather have I'm not doing anything about diarrhea, FD. Mark, is Phil Jones filling in for Fred the Red these days? Because having heard or seen from the man... Uh, thank you, Junior. He's not even played uh, a game of training under Eric Ten Hag. Need to thank Ranjik for everything we're doing now, says Eric. And uh, do you think the fact that Jimmy Murphy's statue just... Has ...been revealed means a new owners will build a new stadium, says Said. Say, I don't know. Uh, you can always move the statues. They'll all get moved if we get a new one anyway. What do you think... Um, terrible cross, that is. What do you think Brighton is better now under Zebi or with Potter, says Iron? I mean, I think they're a fantastic team under Potter, but I think they're, uh, they've are they got more goals in them under... Um, under Potter. Under the Zebi. For the corner to Brighton. Corner. And I think that might be half time. I think. What the fuck? I, I get lost. Cross comes in. Lindelof again winning the header. Good header as well. And that is half time. So it's Manchester United nil. Brighton nil. Second time we've played them in a few weeks. And again, the deadlock has not been broken. Um... Look, I'm I'm pretty pleased with Manchester United's performance. Um, some might not be, but I, I think, uh, on reflection, I think it's been a good half from United. You know, especially when you look at that. Um, it's funny, isn't it? I said before the game, Brighton would have 60% possession. They have basically had that. Um, but shots, we've had a few more. Um, two on target to three. Um our passing accuracy isn't great, 77% to 87%. Um, we've looked to counter. That's what we've looked to do. We've looked to move the ball quickly from back to front. But look, the standouts for me, the positives for me, you know, David De Gea makes a big save against Matoma. 
in the uh, in the first few minutes. Uh, we carved them open before that. Anthony really should be hitting the target, but we've we've been pretty good at uh, moving the ball quite well to their edge of their box. Rashford had a good shot. Martial had a good shot. I think we've had the better chances. Apart from that Matoma chance, I think we had the better chances. But the big thing I would be saying if I was Eric Ten Hag is there's been times in this game where certainly Rashford and Anthony are not getting their head up. I mean, Rashford could have played Bruno in one-on-one. -on -one. Casemiro ends up getting booked because Brighton win the ball back too cheaply. Um, Anthony, Martial pulls him off to the back post. Anthony doesn't see it. Ends up with Bruno skying it from a silly angle. Um, I think if we take care of the ball better in the final third, we could have been 1-0 up. And look, I know a lot of people don't rate Martial, but if that's Harry Kane next season, where's the service? Like, it's something that they need to solve now for the future. Rashford and Anthony, you can't both be greedy all the time. You've got to look to be creative. You can't have two wingers that are just all about shooting when you've got a striker like Harry Kane next season or, or Osman. We've got to be better in the final third. And I think we're still too greedy in the final third. Um, but we should, we should still be winning. Um, it's probably a hangover from three years of Ollie. No rhyme or reason in attack. Just freestyle it. One of you will whip it out. Some magic kind of things, says Rory. What would you think about Ranjit coming back as director of football, says Co. I would love it. And hi, Mark. Really love the show, mate. Been watching since the mid-40k subs. Feel United have been the better side this half. Hopefully we get those goals, says Kenneth. As I say, I'm really happy with the United performance because I was looking forward to this game. I predicted a draw, but I'm also wary that Brighton are a fantastic side. And... Really, I mean, I think the bookies had them as favourites. So I'm very happy with the performance from United. We've certainly, you know, it's a 50-50 game as far as I'm concerned, where I think we've had the better chances. If we can keep that up in the second half and we come out of this game with a point, it's not a bad point. But ultimately, I think we need to score first. I think we can get a really positive result here. And I think that's what Ten Hag will be saying. On a positive side, as I said, big save from De Gea against Matoma. Um, Matoma had wan on toast for the first 10 minutes and then wan did well against him and that's a, another uh, Wembley battle where they're, they're, they're cancelling each other out. Um, Delos had a good game. Lindelof's had a good game. Luke Shaw's been excellent again. Uh, Casemiro's doing his job. I mean, it was a yellow card. I can't argue with that. Uh, Fred's done okay as well. Bruno's, Bruno's done well. Uh, I think Martial's done okay considering he's not getting much service. I think he's made unselfish runs. He's linked up the play quite well. Um, I'd just like to see a little bit more from Rashford and Anthony, and I think we could be leading the game. So overall, I'm very happy with the United performance. I just think that sometimes you will get punished in a game. Look, how many times are we going to have chances where we're saying that needed to be a pass and we, we, should, we would have scored? You know, Brighton are a good side. Um, you can't keep making them mistakes. Um... A lot of people saying that Martial's been bad. I, I, I quite enjoyed Martial's performance. So, you know, I, I think he's made intelligent runs. I think his link-up play has been good. Um, obviously, it's an area that we're going to improve in the summer. But I'd rather play Martial up front and Rashford on the left than play Rashford down the middle and Sancho on the left. I don't like Rashford down the middle. Um, we need a, a striker like Kane. He'd easily score 30 goals. Um, Salem, can I just ask where he's going to score these 30 goals? Because Martial's had one chance in that half. I mean, I don't know whether we're watching different games, but we don't provide service to our strikers. We haven't done it for years. So where's Harry Kane going to magic 30 goals from? At his arse. Like, you know, look at Haaland. They build service around Haaland. We've got to start doing that. I know Martial's not the guy, but Harry Kane in this game up front for United is going to get very frustrated because apart from that one chance, there ain't a lot going on. Um, I really enjoyed the first half. I love how we swamped them in midfield, says Min. I think the midfield three has done a good job. Uh, we can't keep talking about service, uh, but Martial is not United level. He almost never in the six-yard box when crosses do come in. But Sudan, how many crosses have come in? Like, I'm not talking about whether Martial's the solution, because I know he's not. I know we're going to buy a striker. But what I am talking about is that Marci uh, Rashford and Anthony don't uh, create enough chances. They don't. Michael Wren, welcome to the Members Club. Thank you very much. Um, please do subscribe, by the way. Bottom right-hand corner. We're getting closer to 644,000. Bottom right-hand corner to do it. 
Um, let's see what we're doing with that. And also, I've dropped it in the live chat and it's in the video description. Remember, we're in Dublin on June the 6th. Get yourself your tickets. Um, it's going to be very interactive. And if you have bought your tickets, you'll be getting a questionnaire coming through in the next couple of weeks asking you questions about awards we're going to give out, like, you know, player of the season, flop of the season, most improved, goal of the season, all this sort of stuff. Um, so it's sort of going to be an end of year interactive show as well as a normal live show. Uh, Chris Cox says, 33 minutes, Anthony passed to number nine. Stuart Pearce says a poor touch by number nine on NBC. They only score on a turnover. Stuart cleared the game. So why out so out of touch? That would be world class to control the pass, says Chris Cox. Um, okay. Um, what are the chances of Harry Kane ending up at Arsenal, says Diego? Zero. Absolutely zero. Chelsea could happen, but uh, I don't think it will, but no chance he goes to Arsenal. Uh, make sure you have a Pratt of the Season award, Mark, says Riaz. Well, yeah, it'd be great to see you. You can get your votes in. Um, we'll be emailing that out to people who've got their tickets. Um, and there are still some tickets available. It's going to be our biggest live show yet in Dublin on June the 6th, just after the FA Cup final. Um, links in the live chat or the video description. Martial created his own chance. Martial at Man City would score 30, says Zalo. Look, I, I really don't want to, again, you know, I, I feel like we are having the same nonsense argument that I can't stand anymore. You know, who had the better season, Man United or Arsenal? Who cares? Man City are going to win the league. Oh, Martial's shit. Martial's good. Who cares? We're going to buy a striker in the summer anyway. My point wasn't whether Martial's good or Martial's bad. My point is, if Harry Kane was playing today, where's his service? And quite rightly, as was just said there, Martial created his own chance. Where is the service for the number nine from Rashford and Anthony? And correct me if I'm wrong, Martial has created two chances, for uh, one for Anthony and one for Rashford. So it's not reciprocal. The number nine should not be the creator for our wingers. There should be create. You know, the fullbacks aren't creating chances either. Who's creating the chances for the number nine? Um, I'm not talking about whether Martial's good enough or not. I'm talking about a problem that United have had for years. We don't create chances for our number nine. And I don't know why people don't and haven't figured this out yet. It's all, I want Harry Kane. I want Osman. And I'm like, yeah, I want a striker of that quality. But are you not concerned that as a footballing side, we don't create chances for our number nine? It's going to be a whole new system next year unless we carry on how we are. Why not start doing it now? I want to be able to drop Harry Kane or Osman in that team and go, they're going to get 30 goals. But I don't know where 30 goals are coming from as a number nine. I know where they're coming from from Rashford because he cuts inside and shoots a lot. But where are they coming in for the number nine? How's that going to work? We, we need to be more creative for our striker. Look at what City do with Haaland. And everyone knows they're trying to create chances for Haaland and they still do. Glazers for Pratt of the Year. Thanks for all you do, Mark, says Mike Henry. Thank you very much. Um... Tim Harwood is calling Martial lazy because he's not finding space. Also called him selfish because he's not running. Tim Howard's a prat. You know, Tim Howard's probably heard other unintelligent pundits use the word lazy with Martial and thought, you know, I'll have a piece of that action. Just It's just shocking punditry. Like, it's shocking. Uh, Mark, comparing Anthony to Rashford is a crime. You can only compare him to Maguire, Sancho or Fred, says FD. Uh, frustrated at Rashford for some time. I know he scores, but as a left winger, he can't drabble, dribble, lacks creativity. No link up playing selfishly shoots. Which left winger is good for us to be at the top, says Saf. And uh, Andy Weatherall has gifted a membership. Firmino was the creative to Mane and Salah for years. Maybe we need a number nine in that mould, says Happy Hour Network. Thank you very much, pal. Thank you very much. Um... I'm a big fan of Rashford. Um, I'm a big fan of Rashford, as you know. But you did get me thinking there. If he doesn't score a goal, does he have a good game? Rashford this season has had a scintillating season. He wouldn't be my player of the year. Because I think he is that sort of player that if he doesn't score, he doesn't necessarily have a good game. He's got to add, and he still hasn't added, creativity. He can do it. But I think he's always thinking about the shot. Um, if we brought in a top striker like Haaland or Kane or Lewandowski, I think they'd be falling out. I think there would be falling out that every time Rashford gets it, he's not putting the cross in. Um, 
But he's the star of the front three. Rashford's the superstar. Martial's hardly played. Veghorst is happy to play. Anthony's just bedding in. Ganacho's a young player and Sancho's in and out. So Rashford's the superstar of that striking three. If you bring a striker in, Rashford's got to be more creative. Going to start a petition for United Stand Scotland live show. Would be a sellout easy, says Chris. Thank you, mate. I'd love to do it. Uh, Flair players won't work with any world-class striker, says Fabian. Uh, Footmob updated Maguire market value. Just dropped, lost 42 million, says David Larson. And our current problem is that we have adjusted our gameplay since pre-season to attack from the flanks due to the lack of a number nine. Martial is currently a false nine, says Mario Franco. Um, there's nothing wrong with having a flair winger. And I, I like Rashford. And there's nothing wrong with having a winger that's selfish. But the other winger has to be a creative. Um, I always quite liked it when we bought Sancho because I was like, we got Rashford on the left, Sancho on the right. So it would be great to have... Rashford's flair and directness with Sancho's possession and creativity. Um, Anthony can be creative, but he can also be flair. I think in this half, there's too much flair and not enough creativity. We, I, I think we've been in positions good enough to score a goal in that half. I'm not taking any way, anything away from Brighton. It's been a close game. But I would be disappointed if I was Ten Hag that we haven't carved open a good chance because I think we've been in positions to do it. Um, what do you think about this dressing room, Cam? No, I'm not, I don't know. Um, the Martial slander is easy, borderline lazy, but never nobody ever talks about how we haven't had a creative winger in a long while, says Duma. Look, I, I'm not opposed to... So many of Osman's crosses, goals come from crosses as well, says Harrison. All our attackers are at their peak. Rashford would still be the best attacker at our club. I like Martial, but his hold-up tonight has been mostly poor, says HW. I hate Rashford down the middle. I hate Rashford down the middle. I think Rashford down the middle is basically only good if you can hit long balls. I think Rashford's pace is his only asset down the middle. Um, but, um, you know, I'm certainly not here to defend Martial and say he's the best thing in the world, but I'm also... I'm not going to not say that um, the creativity has been good enough. That's why I think Harry Kane is the best option. He won't mind Rashford being the main man, says Min. Bollock, bollocks. Bollocks. Harry Kane won't mind Rashford being the main man. Have you watched Spurs? Harry Kane's the main man of that team and has been for years. And England that Rashford plays for. Harry Kane's not going to sit there and go, I don't mind Rashford being the main man. What a load of crap. Uh, sorry, Min, I, I respect you and I like you, but there ain't no way Harry Kane's playing second fiddle. Eight assists in all competition this year for Rashford, says Pramud. I think he could have double that. Anthony may be greedy and inconsistent, but is our release valve an out ball? When Eric Ten Hag takes him off, we struggle, says Zaris. Look, I think we've played well in that half. I'd just be saying, why is it nil-nil? It's because Martial, and, it's because Martial, Rashford and Anthony aren't creating the chances to score. I think you need to be a little bit more creative in the final third, lads. Put Giggs in this team and Martial had bagged 20, says Reckon. Put Beckham in the team and he'd bagged 20 as well. So who creates most of the chances for Haaland? Kevin De Bruyne, who plays in that position for us? Bruno, but we all love Bruno. Niz, um, you're wrong. Do you want to correct yourself or do you want me to do it for you as well? Kevin De Bruyne is the best number 10 in the world. Don't put the responsibility on Bruno to create the goals for, for Martial. But Grealish gets a lot of assists. Mares gets a lot of assists. Bernardo Silva gets a lot of assists. Foden gets a lot of assists. Gundogan gets a lot of assists. Rodri chips in. Like, if it was De Bruyne to Haaland, you could stop it. But they don't. They have other players that can do it as well. Grealish has been fantastic this season at providing assists. And creativity. Apparently, Butland's warming up. Maybe David just isn't... Oh, no, he's all right. He's out. David's out. He's all right. So, nil-nil. The main thing is we've had a good first half. Let's build on it. I don't think we've spent enough time talking about the defence again. This is absolutely brilliant from Lindelof and Shaw again. Um, they've been superb. Bring back the deep dives, Mark. Also, any chance of some stories of Man United shows in the summer to explore our history? This is Brian. Good, good points. Well right, made. People will... Oh, shit. Let me get the time ready. People, people, says Jason, 
People will never be happy with Martial unless he dribbles the ball from the defence to the attack and scores. Some people don't understand the game, says Jason. Uh, Mark, you're repeating yourself, says LC18. I don't know what I've repeated myself for. Apologies for that. How are the two quietest stadiums in the Premier League top of the league, says Travis. I think I think the Emirates has been very good atmosphere this year, actually. Anyway, Brighton on the attack here. We need the chart show back as well, says Miles. I want to bring the chart show back, probably next season, but I think it's just been the volume of games this year. It's been ridiculous. Does anyone else feel like this, se this is the never-ending season? I can't believe we've had a World Cup and it started at the start of August. Here we go. Rashford, get on your toes. The low into Rashford, down the left-hand side, pass one, looks up. Is he going to pass? No. And that's the problem, isn't it? That's the problem there and there. He's in the position where he should be looking for the pass, takes on an extra player. Is Rashford's lack of creativity something he can develop, says Stephen? Yeah, 100%. I think Rashford's got the creativity. I think I've seen him play good passes. Here they are on the attack. Brighton, pick up your men, pick up your men. What is it about Brighton shooting from 30 yards against David De Gea? Do they think he's got concussion? Rashford is inconsistent. Martial is late. No, I'm not having that, Tom. I'm not having that. I don't like... I, I've told you many times that I think it's a terrible analysis of a player. United passing out from the back from the goalkeeper today. We're not just hitting them long balls. wan is going to go back to De Gea. He's going to have to go long now because nobody's coming close to him. See, in this situation, he's got to go long. Nice little flick. Go on, Rashi. Rashford should get a yellow for that dive, says Daniel. Please subscribe, by the way. Bottom right-hand corner. Let's see if we can hit 644k today. We're only 100 away. Bottom right-hand corner to subscribe. I certainly can see Sancho coming on at some point. Uh, United need a ball-controlling centre attacking midfielder. Bruno doesn't control the tempo. Add that to the midfield and United create chances. His 40 side. Uh, Luke says, might be a stupid question, but would Kane work with two wingers who don't cross? Luke, well, look, Kane likes to drop and link with flair wingers. Kulisevsky and Son, it has worked. But Spurs don't play with a number 10. So how is Harry Kane going to drop deep when you've already got Bruno in that position um, I wouldn't be surprised if Ten Hag never wanted Harry Kane and we get someone like Moani but everyone seems to be saying it's Kane my hunch is it will be Kane but I don't think we're playing the game that Ten Hag wants to play this season anyway like Steve says Kane's the opposite opposite of what we need but is he the opposite of what we need if we're not meant to play like we play at the moment and he wants to play a different way, in which case Kane could become very important. This game, it's all about who scores first. If Brighton score first, their tails are up. If we score first, we've got something, we've got a bit of a buffer. Good cross by Brighton, Luke Shaw. Good header. Anthony, nice little touch. That's it. Keep the possession. Win the throw in. That'll do. Sean says, how do you manage your time and do you not get tired? I do get tired, yeah. I do get tired. Um, if he wants Moani instead, he needs to be se sectioned, says Robert McCormack. That was like a that's like that little gif, isn't it? Where you say something negative about Kane, you know that one where he gets the deck chair and just 
opens it up and then sits down. Say something negative about Kane and wait for Robert McCormack in the chat. Will we be able to get Camavinga, says Anshul? I've got no I I've got no idea what is this where well, I know where Camavinga stories come from. It's come from Christian Folk, but I don't know I've not heard anything about us buying him. Uh, we could play 4-3-3. Kane drops between the two midfielders as a false nine, says Les. But we're not going to drop Bruno. I just want us to score the first goal here. Regista says, I'm tired of watching us defend all game. We'll put the game on because you're watching the wrong game, mate. We've not been defending all game. Well done, Wambasaka. Although the header's not that great. Well, Casemiro needs to be a bit careful there. He's got through the tackle. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good block, Wambasaka. Bloody hell. I was, I was getting a bit worried then. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It didn't turn into anything for a minute. I thought it might turn into Brighton's best chance. They're on the attack again here. United you know, have got a lot of defenders back. Good interception. There we go. Bruno, lovely little one-twos. That's well late. I want a red for that, ref. I want a bloody red. That's late. Come on. Webster again. Yeah, blood. Webster. Webster the wanker. No, I ain't having that. That's disgusting. Ain't never getting the ball. I mean, it's, it's an orange card for me, that. Ah, it's, he's got his studs up. He's caught his ankle. That should be reviewed. That's a red, that's a red, that. That's a red. That's a red for me. That should be, re that should be VAR reviewed. Studs catch his ankle. That's a disgrace. VAR only if it's a bloody Man United player. No, I, I thought it was a yellow at first, but when you see it back again, his stud is up and it catches his bloody ankle. It's, it's out of control and it's reckless. It fits the crime. People don't, yeah. People again, you, you know, you got people in the chat who just don't understand the rules, do they? You know, why did Casemiro get sent off? Because it was out of control and reckless. That's exactly what Webster's done there. He's out of control and reckless. You know, I'm not. I don't think Casemiro's was a red, but ultimately, where's the consistency again? Is he out of control? Yes. Is he reckless? Yes. Well, why are you not reviewing it then? Webster's dirty as well. Marcial, you've got to win that 50-50. Two trips, Dave says, you're forgetting it's Man United playing. Need to score the first goal here. Um, only a red if it's Casemiro, says the contrarian. Thanks for your super chat, mate. Here's Matoma. Oh, Delo sliding in. Goal kick. Um, Martial backing out of the challenges, says Matthew. I saw that one. I don't. I didn't like that. I don't like any player bottling a 50-50. I suppose some people might say, well, he's been very injury prone. Well, that's a weakness. You can't bottle a 50-50. Sub Fred, need more stability, says Nick. Mark, is it just me or does Martial look kind of stiff and slower like he's scared to even sprint, says Sean. Well, he might, maybe he can only play at 80%. Uh, 
Maybe if he plays at 100%, he gets injured. Maybe that's what it's all about, just getting through to the end of the season. I don't know. Good tackle by Casemiro into Martial. Go on, Tony. Nice ball into Bruno. Look out for the pass. Here's Rashford. Come on, Rashford. Look for the pass this time. That's it. Bruno into Rashford. Nice. He's looking to shoot again. He's always looking to shoot. The pass was on to Fred. One touch. Is in CISO for Brighton. Game's getting a bit stretched at the moment. I can see there being a red card in this game. I think Martial will come off for Sancho. Yeah, I think Rashford will go down the middle at some point. Which might work. Oh, here we go. They've got numbers here, Brighton. Good block. Good play, Casemiro. Go on. Yeah, that pass was on. Good play. Anthony's horrible, says FD. Not really been in the game second half, to be fair, has he? Martial into Bruno, wins the throw. I live my life in the city. But there's no easy way out. Day's just coming much too fast for me. I need my life in the sunshine. We're 50 subscribers away from 644,000, by the way. So please subscribe, bottom right-hand corner. Uh, so when were games on Now TV too many channels? Says, why are you recording? And Mark, do you celebrate... 420 says Joe Morgan We've got to be careful here in the last sort of half an hour. Oh, here we go. 2v2 caught in midfield. Matoma Wambasaka's got to do his job. Not no power in the shot. I think Wambasaka is giving him a little bit too much space, isn't he? Um I take it Matoma's got no left foot. Oh, another bad shot by them there. Midfield's looking a bit dead, says Malong. I'll live my life for the stars that shine. Come on. I mean, really, I've got, I don't, my, a point's a good result for United in in some ways. Um, but I'm very surprised that we've seen Brighton and United play two games and there's been no goals in what is effectively 180 minutes now. Because we had extra time at Wembley and we've had an hour here. I think that is a yellow card under low, to be fair. Very surprised. I mean, look, the positives, big shout out to Lindelof and Shaw because that's a clean, that's three games of clean sheets. Well, not, I mean, that's two games of clean sheets against Brighton. But um, the attack, I think, could be better. What subs would you make, everybody? Um, I think Fred's drifted a bit. I'd be tempted to go a little bit more Sabitza, maybe. I think Martial's going to have to come off, so... Sancho for Martial, put him on the left, Rashford down the middle. Wambasaka just happy to have Matoma's right foot in his pocket tonight. Rashford playing with blinders on. Martial needs to have a go at him, says Joshua. Zane says, I love me some Ten Hag, but it's been almost a year and we're still not playing proactive football. Uh, most games we look second best and get dominated in large spells. Reminds me of volleyball. I don't agree, Zane. 
don't agree, but I respect it. The low nearly got caught in possession. There's a Brighton player down here. We need some fresh legs on, says Connor. Why is there so many empty seats? We're at the, are we at the empty hand, says Alloy. There's a lot of empty seats at uh, Arsenal-Chelsea on Tuesday as well. Maybe it's just the time of the year. Maybe people have... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Man United-Brighton. I, I don't know why there'd be empty seats, actually. Oh, he's caught him in the face there, Delo. Completely accidental. There is no consistency in the cards tonight, says Marco. And how come the subs? This is going to be interesting, says FD. Well, Jesse Marsh is coming on here. Not Jesse Marsh. What's his name? Mr. Penalty. Yeah, Jesse Marsh is coming on. Former Leeds manager. He's coming on for Brighton. What's his name? It's not Jesse Marsh. Why? why do, I can't get it out of my bloody head now. What is his name? Solly Marsh, that's it. Jesse Marsh. <laughs> Solly. Solly Marsh. Ow, just bang my bloody leg now. Um, Brighton players down here. He caught one from uh, Dalo. Make sure you subscribe, bottom right hand corner, while we've got the brick. And don't forget, I've got my Boohoo Man Clubber on. Get 40% off. Links in the description using the code Goldbridge. Oh, we're only 10 away from 644,000. Only 10 more subscribers. Bottom right hand corner to do it. Solly Marsh is coming on. I live my life. Fifty-five thousand views on driving with Goldbridge. It's only been up for about eight hours. That is a leg. Thanks everyone who's watched it. Absolute legends. Thanks everyone. First one I've done in bloody ages on that channel as well. Might have to do another one now. Uh, no signs of any subs for Man United yet. Remember, we'll have player ratings on the match reaction. Anthony needs to get in the game a bit. Lots of running, but not really any... Uh... Look at their keeper passing out from the back there. Just confident. Play through the press so well. How do you play through the pe press? Confidence. Positional. The ability to pass. But also confidence and you need players that are, are intelligent enough to find the space Gilmore should be booked there he's pulled Fred down and thrown the ball away that's what Bruno's saying you're an inconsistent prick Mariner you're booking our players for nothing and then you're not booking him Retro says I feel like we're going to lose. Uh, still half an hour to go. I mean, I can't, I can't imagine it being nil-nil. But uh, nice little flick there by Anthony. Wambasaka needs some support. Brighton win it back. Uh, here's an interesting for, point from Akko. He says, what uh, tactics is Ten Hag using? Because I see the same awful play every time. I really think it's important if you're a United fan and you're not a troll that you, you that you grasp what we are. I said it in the preview and I said it before the game. I fully expected and was not going to be disappointed if Brighton had 60% possession. You're playing a team that knows the way they're playing and knows each other like the back of their hand and have been doing it for years. The, the, the system at Brighton is so ingrained in these players and they know what to do Manchester United a year ago we'd been playing counter-attacking football part of the bus football for the last four years we brought a coach in that's bought five players and has got us into the top four and got us into two cup finals it's remarkable what he's done but we are not playing entertaining possession-based football yet because it's early days 
I, 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 we're not ready to take on Brighton in season one. Put some respect on who Brighton are and we're not ready to do it yet. Mark, any idea when the New York show will be? Thanks. The co I don't know yet, mate. There's a huge demand for your content. You've done well, mate. Keep at it, says Duma. Thank you very much, mate. Well, thanks everybody who watched it or is going to watch it. Um, Driving with Goldbridge, just type it in. You'll find it. It's on my Twitter feed as well. I'll retweet it later on. They want Casemiro to get a red there. I wasn't looking. I was too busy talking about driving with Goldbridge. Didn't look like a second yellow to me. I think he was right to play the advantage. How can you give a second yellow when he's played the advantage? If he thinks it's a yellow, he should, it was a good free kick position. Kieran, welcome to the members club. Take Casemiro off, says John. You miss one game, don't you, for a second yellow? Trouble about the last 10 minutes for United is we're creating for a call. Like, we're actually regressing this second half. I think in the first half, we were a threat. Second half, it feels like Brighton, somebody said it in the first half, we'll get tired and Brighton will just be relentless. At the moment, we seem to have regressed. That's a penalty. Oh my God, he's not giving it. I thought it was. Keep your gob shut, Goldbridge. Matoma can't believe it. I reckon that was a pen on first viewing. Mariner, all's forgiven. That looked close. Here's Fred. Yeah, we're not. We're just not doing. We're not causing them any problems at the moment. Why are people expecting us to play like Man City? Says Daniel. If it continues like this for the next twenty minutes, I think they probably will score. We need to. It needs to change something because um, we're just not doing anything as an attacking threat and haven't done anything for about fifteen minutes. Well, I never saw the Fred one back and I've not seen the Matoma one back. Right, here's Rashford. Come on, let's create something here. Bruno, have a shot. Ah, oh, good save keeper. But again, Rashford's gone down. He's not going to give the foul. Is Luke short. Is Fred, Anthony, Rashford's got up now. Oh, come on, ref. It's all getting a bit tasty here. Anthony looked like he was fouled, not given. Oh, that's a yellow card, Anthony. That's a yellow card. That's a yellow card. It's all going off now. It's all going off now. Casemiro won't get involved. Anthony's definitely going to get a yellow. I mean, to be honest, the way Anthony kicked him, I wouldn't be surprised. I don't think he'll give him a red, but um, he did absolutely chop him. Um, I mean, Webster's on a yellow card. He shouldn't be getting involved. Yeah, another game where we deserve to lose, says Christopher. Yellow card for Anthony. Needs to calm down a little bit there. Again, I don't know what Sky are doing today, but they're, they're, they're absolutely terrible with replays. I mean, we haven't seen the Matoma potential penalty. We didn't see the Fred one in the first half. <clears throat> For me, Anthony kicks him pretty high on the leg here. Mm, he, I... <laughs> you know, I like Anthony. That's not a no, that's not a red card. That's not a red card. It's not a red card. 
20 minutes to go. Matoma picks it up centrally for Brighton. No, it's not. Anthony kicks him, but it's not like, it's not a red card kick. He's not bloody. That's no, not a red card for me. And then the Webster, you know, chest barges. Well, he's on a yellow card himself, so you'd have to send him off as well. Nice play, Casemiro. Martial needs to look. A lot of people in the chat saying we need to get some subs in. Nice ball to Rashford. You've got a bit of space now. This is where you need to run at your man, Rashi. Left the ball behind. Told you all game, Anthony's crap, says FD. Good pass, tackle, Casemiro. Bruno. Got to find a pass into Fred. Nope. Nope. Oh, it was Dunk who did the chess thing, not Webster. They, they both look the same to me. We need that fire now, says Alec. A couple of big lads at centre-back for Brighton. And that's that Matoma one. Very soft. I've seen them given. Deserby thought it should have been given. Well played, Luke Shaw. Casemiro with the tackle. It's all, get, it's all getting a bit sloppy in there. I, I sense there might be a bloody red card coming in here. Casemiro. That player who dived on Casemiro there trying to get him sent off then gets up when he realises it's not going to be a foul. Nice ball to Martial. Come on. Your feelings on a tie. Martial, cut back corner. I, I like a good tie. I like a suit and tie. I don't get to wear it very often. Why no subs? I don't know. I don't really know. Is he just... I don't know. Maybe he's thinking point here, win, at, win against West Ham. Maybe Ten Hag fell asleep, says Jason. Uh, player ratings will be interesting. I think it's... Um, hmm. Be interesting. No, that, that Anthony's not a red card for me. This is, I, when I first saw it, I thought he's kicked him on purpose. You've got to be careful when you do stuff like that. But um, I think it would have been a very soft, straight red. Um, Rashford on the left-hand side here. Bruno with the cross. Lindelof. Ooh. Casemiro with the shot just over the bar. Wear a suit for the FA Cup final, says Andy. If it means we beat Man City, I'll wear a bloody clown outfit. That's not bad. That's not a bad shot by Casemiro, actually. I thought I never, I never thought it was going to go in, but actually, it's not that bad. Subs make us worse, says Ramiro. Good point. Uh, is Eric Ten Hag overcorrecting this game with no subs, says Michael? But often in the last few weeks, our subs have made us worse. So you're right. We can't be hypocrites here. Our subs have made us worse in recent recent weeks. Bad pass by Casemiro there. It's a shame. It's a shame. What a game this has been to watch, says Robin. I don't know whether he's been sarcastic. Another shot from distance. I tell you what, Brighton can do that all night. I don't know what. They've obviously been told to do it. And I don't know why they're doing it. When has David De Gea ever been a goalkeeper that's weak from outside the box? But Brighton just seem to... Maybe it's fear of Shaw and Lindelof. They will not try and go for the final pass in the in the final third. They will shoot from distance every time. Another two subs here for Brighton. Do you think Man United would win if Rashford was at number nine, says Kieran? No. Uh, Sabitz is coming on. I think he's going to make two subs. Sancho's coming on as well.
I think it'll be Martial and Fred off, in my opinion. Although it might be Anthony and uh, Martial off because he might put Bruno on the wing. He likes to put Bruno on the wing, doesn't he? 17 is Fred, isn't it? Oh, he's took Anthony off. Anthony for Sancho and Fred for Sabitzer. He's probably protecting Anthony from a second yellow. Mark, can you call my mate Stephen a Pratt? This is Porik. Thank you very much, Porik. Evening, Mark. Do you prefer... Yeah, I'm not reading that, Tom. Thank you very much. We need a full sale and to back Ten Hag, says Sebastian. Thanks to everyone who subscribed, by the way. I think we've hit 644k. Legends, thank you very much. Oh, my God. What was that kick out from the back, David? That could have been very costly. Putting ourselves under pressure. Goes for a goal kick. Mark, sometimes it takes a yellow and a row to get the team going. No point letting Brighton run things around us. If Martial pulls out of a tackle, off, says Ron. Rashford's been awful since returning from his injury, says Golden Pocket. Beth's got fuel now, says Gabrielle. Go on, Sabitzer picks it up in a good position here. Sabitzer drives forward. That's got to be a yellow card. It's a shame, though. I'd rather we didn't have the yellow card and we could play on. It's a clever foul by Brighton there. Sabitzer was breaking with a 4v3. Clever foul. Clever foul. Webster at right back now. Got to get onto him, says Seb Watson. Well, Colwell's just come on for Brighton and he's picked up a yellow card straight away. Napoli are champions. Congratulations to Napoli. Still 10 minutes to go here. I'd be, I, I take a point. I just don't like nil-nils. What does a point... Point... What does a point do? Gives us 64 points. Three wins and you can't be caught by Liverpool or anyone else. Rashford shoots from 40 yards straight at the keeper. Stretch time. Don't forget, we're sponsored by Boohoo Man. You can get lovely hoodies like this to chill out in. 40% off with the code Goldbridge. Check out the website. Don't forget to use the code. Napoli, says Joshua Bowater. Good kick out by De Gea there into Sabitza. This is this could work out quite nicely. Into Martial. Good play. Oh, he slips at the wrong fucking time. We had a 2v1 there and he slipped. Well done, Luke Shaw again. For me, I think Luke Shaw's my man of the match. Mark, do you think we can raise 120 million in sales this summer, says Omka. Henderson, 20. Maguire, 30. That's 50. McTominay, 75. Williams, 7. Bay. Make, we raise about 100. Oh, lovely ball over the top there. I thought Rashford was just going to nick it in front of the keeper, but he was offside anyway. Who was a bigger flop, Di Maria or Depay, says Beans? Good question. Take your pick. I'll, I'll just say Di Maria because he's a snake. Um... So bits has been a breath of fresh air, Ramiro, I agree. That's going to go for a goal kick. Uh, player ratings are open, by the way. You can mark every play out of 10, 6 being the average. Sabitz is passing and intricacy is very good, says Yaza. 
Well, he's, de he's definitely made a difference since he come on. I agree with starting Fred for the physicality, but it was fading out. Oh, Sancho, come on, you got to hold that up a bit better, pal. Ten to go. You don't want to be losing this game at this stage. That's good play. Oh, it's good play, Wambasaka. Keepers off his line to get that. Well done. Good play, Wambasaka. Has anybody seen my sub has anyone has anybody seen my Sabitza story? Has anyone seen my Insta story? All I'm gonna say is top bins, literally top bins with a left foot. And I'm right footed. I'm both footed actually, but I'm primarily right footed. But check my Insta story. You won't be disappointed. Well, you might be disappointed because you might just feel inadequate. But I can't help with that. I tell you what, I'd be very pissed off if we lose this game late on. Like, come on. They're into the box. Good block, Luke Shaw, who I think has been ridiculously good tonight. corner to Brighton this worries me a little bit because we haven't really got a lot of height and if they put a good cross in well done good defending by United not a good clearance by Bruno though Matoma uh, I can see what wan plan out plan is with Matoma now it really is about just showing him onto his uh, his weaker foot that's the plan just showing him onto the left foot all the time. It's clever defending. It's another corner, though. Rory says, Mark, my heart can't handle United. It's also stressful. What needs to happen in the summer so that won't happen anymore? Better players. Better players. More, more options. Here's the corner. Not a good one. Clear the way. Just watch the story, top bins, but underwhelming anyways. Well, Lake, do it yourself next time. You miserable get. Go on, get out. Get out. Not joking, get out. Oh, no. Veghorst is coming on. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, why? Martial comes off. Left foot, top bin, then fell over. That's a different story, Chris. Literally, it's a different story. How many times did I accept, uh, attempt it? Took me a warm-up one, and that was it. I think it was number two. wan -Bissaka. Come on, Vegos. Imagine if Vegos gets the winner against Brighton. We'll have some of that. Sancho, have a look. There's a pass on there. That's the pass. Casemiro. Penalty in the box. No, he's not going to give that. I don't think we're going to score now. Good play, Luke Shaw. I think Luke Shaw is... Who's your man of the match today? Because for me, it's Luke Shaw. Veggy for the winner, says Duma.
I'm sort of looking at the clock now and saying, don't add much on, we'll take the point. Come on, ref. That was filthy on Bruno there. He, he bloody tripped him and then he barged into him afterwards as well. Mariner's a terrible referee. Like Bruno got tripped and then he ran past Bruno and bloody kneed him. That was close. That was close by Solly Marsh. Could have sworn I saw you in Touchwood, says Anil. Not been there for ages. Uh, Mark, I had the same reaction when I saw Veghorst as Oloy. I just don't want to keep him. He's a nice guy, but I don't want to keep him. I mean, he comes on and my heart drops. They should look. They should show that foul on Bruno. He fouls him and then he runs into him and knees him when he's on the floor. That's a great shot by March, though. I think it was... No, David De Gea had it covered. Veghorst is better technically than Rashford, says LC18. What, making a cup of tea? Mank in Chicago says Veggy for the winner. He has to score at one point. Well, that's a terrible foul. And then watch this. He runs into him and knees him. I've just put a tweet out on at Mark Goldbridge about somebody. Tell me I'm wrong. They got a yellow afterwards. Good. Veghorst versus Maguire in a foot race. Who wins, says Billy? I don't know, but no one's going to stay late enough to see, are they? I'd actually, if it was a sunny day, I'd put a bet on their shadows winning. Okay, now. Veghorst versus Maguire in a race. I, 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 I wouldn't hang around to see. All we'd know is it'd be slower than watching an ice cube melt in a freezer. Oh, here they go again. It's a good ball. De Gea's got to be quick. Yes, good play, De Gea. Good play, De Gea. Still two minutes to go. We've done we've done very little this half, have we? This second half has been dreadful as an attacking performance. First half I quite enjoyed. I need to look at the stats. Second half Just worry that it'll be a sickener. There's Luke Shaw again. Brilliant. What? It's been a complete performance by Luke Shaw. Absolutely fantastic. He's been so good tonight. He's, he, he, I mean, realistically, he's just got to play left centre-back all season. Until next year. Because he's just so much better than anybody else that can do it. Random says a dying Turkle would beat Virgos to Beg Austin Maguire. Uh, thanks everyone for subscribing. Bottom right hand corner. Deserby's getting frustrated. I think he really wanted to beat us tonight, didn't he? Is it true Ten Hag isn't happy with the club, but you guys are top four? I could only dream of my abysmal spurs being in your position, says Jiminy. There's always someone better off than yourself. There's always someone worse off than yourself. Mark Lampard is better than Ten Hag, tactically, says Elsie. Oh, here we go. Brighton have got a good uh, break situation here. No, don't do it. Don't stand off him. Great tackle, Casemiro. Great save, De Gea. Oh, I'm clapping like a seal. I'm clapping like a seal. McAllister from miles out. That's a cracking save by De Gea. I really thought this was going in. I thought this was going in. It's through a crowd, and I just thought, good tackle, Casemiro. How does he see this so late? Yeah, great save. 
to get that out as well for a corner. Through the gap. Yeah, good save. Good hands. Good hands. We've still had more shots than them. Pass, pass accuracy has been shit though, hasn't it, really? Come on, lads. Five minutes added on. Corner comes in. Over the bar. From Webster. Kevin Webster. Coronation Street. I don't know where he's got five minutes from. I don't know. Come on, we'll take the point now. I, 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 I just can't speak about how good Luke Shaw has been today. Absolutely brilliant. Maturity, experience, quality, class, leadership, positional sense. I mean, Lindelof's been brilliant as well. De Gea has had a good game. wan has had a good game. Delo's had a good game. I think the attack's been disappointing, really, again. Uh, midfield, probably average. For me, it's been a little bit like a Neapolitan ice cream. You know where you get strawberry, vanilla and chocolate. I think the, the, the back line has been... It depends what flavours you like, but ultimately, I think we've been nice. I think we've been good, average and not so good. Is Sante Cazorla Brighton manager, says uh, Travis. What would my favourite flavour be? As a kid... I probably would have... I'd always put vanilla in the middle. But as a kid, probably liked strawberry better. Whereas now, I'm a massive fan of chocolate ice cream. And I don't really like strawberry ice cream. So, My favourite ice cream? Probably mint choc chip. Yeah. A draw will do, says Brian. I said a draw at the start of the game. I predicted it in the preview, but... Um, and I think a draw is a right a draw is the right result, but fucking hell, we we the subs have made us worse again. Apart from Sabitza, the subs have made us worse. Veghorst has made us worse. This is probably why he doesn't make it. Rum and Razor, never been a fan of that, Shane. Another free kick. Brighton running through our midfield with ease, says Luke. Was this a foul? Soft. Soft. Minute and a half to go. It would be disgraceful to, 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 to lose this this late, having worked so hard. He got a book he booked Luke Shaw for that as well. I don't think it was a foul. What's he booking him for? That's a joke of a yellow card. This ref's fucking needs striking off. He's, he's crap. He's just a crap referee. Absolutely dreadful. I don't. Well, for he got booked for moaning, but it wasn't. It wasn't a yellow card. Like he's a human being, ref. It's not a yellow card. Why have you given a foul? Yellow card. So ref, it wasn't a foul. I didn't foul him. That's a yellow card for moaning. But I'm right. It's not dissent when you're right. Get rid of this. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Matoma, get rid of it. Oh, go on, go on, go on, go on. Oh, my God, get rid of it. Get rid of it. De Gea palms it away. Oh, my God. Heart in the mouth there. Heart in the mouth. Oh, I definitely thought they were going to score then. 
De Gea just palmed it away. It went right across the six-yard box. I thought, Bruno, we're fine here. Matoma shoots. We're fine here. It deflects off Bruno. And I think Bruno's going to get there. He doesn't. The cross fires. Oh, my God. Right across the six-yard box. De Gea palms it away. Give me the point. Give me the point. Kieran you says, Mark, you should be a ref. I would, I've, I've said this before. Put a chess cam on me. Put a GoPro on me. Let's let Goldbridge go and referee a standard game and let's see what happens. What are they looking at now? What are they looking at now? Oh, for fuck's sake. He's going to VAR. What? You're, you're having a laugh for what? I didn't even see it. Handball by Luke Shaw. You're having a laugh in the last seconds. Oh, he's going to give that 100% penalty. Fucking hell. For fuck's sake, man. For fuck's sake. Oh, don't believe it. I don't believe it. He's been the best player on the pitch. Best player on the pitch. We deserve a fucking point. And the last kick of the game, they're going to get a penalty. I don't like De Zerbi anymore anyway. Look at his smug, smiley face. Piss off. But I tell you what, we've been shit second half as an attacking side. Absolute shit. Oh, I fucking can't believe it, mate. I can't believe it. That's like getting a PS5 for Christmas and, you know, and the box is empty. It's so bloody frustrating. I can't believe it. And the shops are shut now. If they score this, there's no comeback. It is a penalty, by the way. I'm not, I haven't said it's not. It is. His hand's in a ridiculous area. I don't know what he's doing. It is a penalty. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. De Gea don't save penalties. I know he's done it before, but... Oh. oh, I don't believe it. This, 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 you know what? Football comes around a lot, doesn't it? Because we did this to Brighton a couple of years ago. Wasn't it the eighth minute or something like that? Bruno, extra time, stoppage time under Ollie. Come on, Dave. Please, Dave. Come on. He won't, he won't save it. I've got no faith. No, goal. I knew it. I knew it. This is what happens when you don't control games. The mentality in subs cost us. Man United shouldn't play for draws. <sighs> all that work. All that work to lose it at the end. Sickening. Absolutely sickening. Mariner's fault. Was never a foul. That foul that Luke Shaw gave away, never a foul. Oh, fucking hell. Football, eh? Brilliant penalty, by the way. You're not saving that. It's gone high. You don't save those. Fuck off, twat. I, d I don't... Can I just shock you? I don't like Brighton anymore. I've always said Brighton are hard not to like. I don't like Brighton. Get Brighton can get in the bin. Don't like Bright Brighton on the sea. I've always preferred rivers. I, can I, I, I prefer rivers to the sea. Piss off, Brighton. Ah, oh, just gutted. Absolutely gutted by that. 
what can you do? You've got to take your medicine, I suppose. We were terrible second half. Um, absolutely terrible. Um, defensively good. But if you keep defending, those sort of, sort of things are going to happen. You can't, you can't moan. You can't moan. Um, I think, uh, to be honest, it was a handball. Um, but if you spend that much time defending, you're going to get... You're going to have those sort of problems, aren't you? Um, we just didn't do it. Second, second half, we didn't do anything as an attacking team. We did nothing. And again, Veghorst came on and you're down to 10 men. I'm sorry. People love this guy. We're down to 10 men every time we bring him on. I know people don't like Martial, but he offers a lot more than Veghorst. Rashford, terrible second half. Anthony taken off. Sancho, I mean, just... That's a terrible performance by Rashford. It's a terrible performance by Veghorst again. It's just, there's nothing in the attack. There was no out ball. First half, I thought we played well. Second half, dreadful. Uh, Eric Ten Hag needs questioning at this point. We're consistently crap in the second half, says Chris. Well, let's talk about it on the match reaction. We've got the player ratings. There's lots to talk about. I'll see you over there in a minute. 